This is it. Today's the day. I'm actually gonna make it. Come on. You've got this. Okay, on second thought, maybe not. Get it together, man. Yokai aren't real. Just a story made up for kids. Right? At least that's what I used to tell myself. Several days ago. Hanai, sweetie, can you do me a favor? What is it? Do you mind stopping by the store and picking up a few things for dinner tonight? Yeah, sure. Thanks. Back to school season's got me super busy. Voila! These are for you, for being such a good son. Let's call it a proud mother's bouquet. Do you have to express everything with flowers? Bell peppers, eggs, baby carrots. Cool. That's everything on the list. Ah! <sighs> Just a stuffed animal. Some kid must have dropped it. Now you'll be easier for your owner to find, and no one else will step on you. <laughs> I did a good deed. Am I ready for high school, or am I ready for high school? Talk about mature. <laughs> hey, what the? <laughs> hey, uh, stop! Get off of me! Uh, what is this thing? Um, How did it go? I thought you'd be back before... <gasps> Honey, you look awful. Is everything all right? Not by a long shot. I can't get whatever this is off of me. What are you talking about? This thing. It's stuck. Hmm? Do you mean your hood? Crocuses. In the language of flowers, they say I believe you, but I'm a bit concerned. Uh. <clears throat> she can't see it? What's wrong with me? A headache, I'm nauseous, crazy tired. So off balance, it's all I can do to walk in a straight line. And as far as I can tell, I'm the only one that can see this thing. Almost there, just a little farther. Ah! Oh, that's cold. I'm wearing an ice pack. Feeling better? Wait, am I in the nurse's office? Oh, yes, you collapsed at the front gate this morning. What? I should get to class. Now, now, don't get all worked up. School's uh, over for the day. Uh, say what? Uh, way to start things off on the right foot. I spent my first day of high school unconscious. To make matters worse, I still feel like crap. Clearly the common denominator here is this stupid fuzzball! I get it, okay? Yokai are real! <laughs> get up! Uh, what exactly alone. is he doing? I don't know. Maybe we should hang back. Day two. First time I've actually cleared the gate. Today I turn over a new leaf. My life as a high school student begins. Man down! Man down! Get him to the nurse's office! Day three. Uh, oh no! He's dead! Somebody call the nurse! Day four. You okay, kid? Need the nurse? Day five. You're really not looking so hot. Nah, it's nothing. I'll be alright. It could be anemia. Used to make me pass out all the time when I was a little girl. I think it's hereditary. Sure. See you tonight, Mom. <gasps> I'll make an arrangement of red gardenias, okay? In flower speak, they mean perseverance. I believe in you! Perseverance. That's the key. Don't give up. Keep going. You've got this. Just a little bit farther and I'll be in class. 
Now, my life as a high school student will finally... Ugh. This is ridiculous. My whole high school experience has been in the nurse's office. Ever since this buzzball showed up, I've been getting worse and worse. Meanwhile, it's getting bigger by the day. Obviously, it's feeding on me. Once I get rid of it somehow, I'll end up dead. <laughs> no! I won't be taken down by some cute little yokai! Look at me. I haven't made any friends yet. That's pathetic. I don't want to die a loser. Uh, screw this! Seriously? I can't tell if this is real, but you never know. Odds are I'm walking into someone's idea of a joke. I'll end up a laughing stock. But if there's even a remote possibility of shaking this thing, I'll take my chances, thank you very much. Perseverance, right? Yes, who is it? Uh, uh they picked up. Um, can I talk to Abano? Speaking. Oh, hey. So I stumbled across your Help Wanted poster. Interesting. You could actually see it? Been a long shot on my part. It was kind of an accident. Can you come in for an interview right away? When? The sooner the better. Where are you? Oh, um, the nurse's office. <laughs> Fine, that'll work. Open the door. Uh, okay. Where do I go from there? You'll see. What? Is he already waiting outside? Take a seat over there. Uh, something wrong? Uh, no. Oh, the bus ball totally shrank! I don't have all day. Take off your shoes. Right. Has the nurse's office always been next to a tea room? go. So, like, are you, uh... Indeed. I am the master of this Mononokian, Haruitsuki Abano. So, when will you be able to start? Huh? <sighs> Guess you'll have to do. A bit scrawnier than I'd like, but the only one who answered my ad. Uh, actually, though, I'm not here looking for work. I was hoping you could help me out. Wait, you need my help? This weird fuzzy thing slashed onto my back. It's caused me nothing but problems. I saw your post and thought maybe you could do an exorcism. That is, if this is for real. I mean, that is the kind of thing you do, right? <sighs> oh, of course. Consider it done. <sighs> oh, that'd be awesome. I've been living a nightmare. Wow. You actually thought I was serious. Get out and stop wasting my time. Huh? <gasps> Hold on a minute! Will you let go of me? There's gotta be something you can do! Come on, I'm begging! I only let you in here because I thought you were looking for work. If it's an exorcism you're after, I'm afraid you'll just have to wait your turn. How long are we talking about? You have other customers or something? About ten days. <laughs> ten days? If that's not good enough for you, do something about it yourself. Uh, no, no, it's fine. I'll wait. Uh, will I even be alive in ten days? Very well. Tell me who you are, and I can put you on the waiting list. Anayashia. That's your name? Mm. Ashia, really? There's some kind of problem? What's the big deal? Uh. Fine. Uh. I'll do the exorcism now. Uh. You mean I won't have to wait? I changed my mind. Now, step outside, please. I'll be right behind you. Yeah, sure thing. Uh, there's no door. Look down. It's at your feet. Really? Uh, can someone tell me what's going on here, please? What the? How am I on the roof? Keep your voice down. It's annoying. But the nurse's office is on the first floor, and now we're way up here. I don't know about you, but my head's spinning. <laughs> ah, it's getting bigger! The 
Yes, it is. I can't take this anymore! Please, you've gotta make it go away, Alvin, or I'll be a dead man in a matter of hours if this giant marshmallow sticks around much longer! You're not helping. Stop breaking it and shut up. <laughs> What's that about? Why does he look so grim all of a sudden? Is that some sort of exorcism tool? Maybe... A deadly spell? Oh man, inflating one of these is always harder than you think. Are you kidding? What's a beach ball gotta do with exorcising this thing? Uh, what are you talking about? I'm playing. <laughs> Now you're just messing with me! That's it! I'm done! If you don't want to help, fine, but you don't have to be a jerk! Just so you know, kicking a guy while he's down isn't a nice thing to do! Super not cool! I knew it. You're exactly like the others. What? Look, man, just so you know, it's no skin off my nose if you die. I don't do this for people. I exercise yokai as a service to them. Uh. Hey there. I can see you, big guy. What do you say you and I play ourselves a nice little game of fetch? Uh. self again. No headache, no nausea, no nothing. Uh, that's incredible. Hey, you have any idea why this yokai attached itself to you? Despite your attitude, I mean. You punched and kicked, but it hung on. Uh, I stepped on his tail. I didn't mean to, but I guess it held a grudge against me anyway, best I could figure. If it wanted to kill you, you'd have been dead days ago. All right, then, so why? Poor thing. I've met a few yokai like this in my time. Family pets who died too soon. Couldn't let go. They wag their tails, do tricks, the whole bit. Even though no one can see them. Eventually, they put two and two together. See, in this world, yokai aren't visible to your average person. Naturally, that tends to make things pretty lonesome. Then suddenly you show up. Imagine how he must have felt to be noticed for once. Probably on cloud nine. <sighs> so of course he latched onto you. He was desperate not to let you get away. I treated him like... Oh, like garbage. But he was just happy I could see him. How was I supposed to know that's why he possessed me? I was just creeped out. He was weird and hairy. He kept getting bigger. Plus, when I got sick, I thought he had it in for me. He may not be human, but even so, he still feels things like loneliness and hope. The thought never even occurred to me. I feel terrible. Hey, Abano. If there's anything I can do for him, I'd be more than happy to help. For now, just play. Uh, I'll lead him to the underworld where he belongs. That's how you exercise a yokai. The thing is, though, he's way too big like this. Just so happens the only way to make him smaller is to give him what he wants. Uh, that means he wants to play with you. Oh, right. Guess that explains the beach ball. This Abano guy had a plan all along. Go on, he's not asking a lot. Just throw the ball around for a while. Keep playing till he's had his fill. Sure, no prob. Seems the least I can do. <laughs> all right, Fuzzball, let's do it! Done now, please. 
He's a manageable size for the exorcism, so yes. And I'd really like to get this thing over with before dark. What all does that involve? Just watch and you'll see. Mononokian Master, Haruitsuki Abano, requesting a portal to the Underworld. Holy cow. This is just one of many access points. No disrespect, but it looks sort of terrifying. Is it safe to go in? For you, no. But the yokai will find it more than habitable. Plus, he'll make friends. That's nice. If you want to be rid of him, bring him here. Right. Uh, I guess this is goodbye then. Why is this suddenly harder than I thought it'd be? Sorry, little guy. I didn't give you a chance. You deserved better. Forgive me. Uh. Uh. Don't go, Fuzzy! Um, what are you doing? Put him down. The portal's about to close. Take care. Thank you. Abana. Did you just say thank you? Why in the hell would I say something like that to you? the conscientious yokai. There's no need to thank me, though. You'll make lots of friends in the underworld. No worry. Have fun in there. Abeno. I'm really sorry. What? I shouldn't have called you a jerk. I thought you were pulling my leg. Don't worry about it. It happens all the time. Uh, I get it now, though. Deep down, you have a heart of gold. Huh? I mean, come on. You did me a solid even though I was rude. Anyone else would have told me to get bent. I can't tell you how grateful I am, sir. Stop groveling. It gets on my nerves. Don't be so modest. I owe you big time. This isn't modesty. Uh, gratitude's nice and all, but it doesn't pay the rent. That'll be one million N. A million? Are you serious? Why wouldn't I be? I'm a high school student. I don't have that kind of cash. All right, guess I should have known. Very well then. Starting tomorrow, you'll come work for me. That's how you'll pay off your debt. Whoa, whoa, hold on! What the heck did I just get roped into? I can't exercise yokai, I'd be useless to you. Let me just find a normal job. Afraid that won't do. This is underworld currency, the only form of payment I accept. Don't even think about defaulting. The yokai I'll send to collect won't be a fraction as patient or understanding as I am. Trust me. This isn't fair! Unbelievable. Did I just get scammed? Glad you're all better. Congrats on a full recovery. Look, they're pretty, but can you please stop saying everything with flowers? These are from my mom. Flowers are kind of her thing. Thanks. Tell your mother I said they're lovely. Finally. I can attend high school like a normal kid. I've got butterflies. So nervous. Everyone, this is your classmate, Ashia, who, as you may remember, has been out sick. Yeah, hi. Um, my first name's Hanai, if you wanted to know. I'm super excited to be here. Lame! We were told you'd be a psycho shenanigans! Keep it together, class. All I told you is that he's a sickly florist kid with dark hair. You heard what you wanted to. You totally huh? let us think it was a girl! Pipe down. That'll do for introductions, I think. Take a seat. Your desk is in the front row near the window. So much for making a good first impression. Dang it! Pull yourself together. You want to be alone for the rest of your life, or you want to make friends? Hey there. I know I'm kind of late to the party, but I look forward to being pals. 
What? Slept all the way through fourth period. Oh, hey, you're awake. It's lunchtime. Don't try to play it all cool. You knew we were classmates and didn't say squat. Yeah, so? You might have clued me in. Uh... Is that a yokai? Okay, so I'm guessing I can see all of them now. You gonna exercise it now or later? Not unless someone hires me to. Wouldn't stay in business very long if I ran around doing it for free. Yeah, but I thought you said yokai belong in the underworld. We can't just leave him here. He'll wander the earth forever. It isn't right to turn a blind eye. I hired you to make life easier. That means you ignore any yokai you come across unless I expressly say otherwise. Got it? Right, moving on. Go buy me some tea and codro rice balls. So I'm his errand boy? Get his own lunch. Whatever. If it pays off my debt, fine. Uh, uh, oh. oh man, should have gone to the convenience store. <laughs> you all right? Is something the matter? My leg just went numb. It won't What's move. With her? Should we get the nurse? You roll your ankle? No, but it hurts. Ignore any yokai you come across. Is she okay? No, she can't move her leg. Whoa, we should call an ambulance. Dang it. I can't ignore this. What the... I can move it. How did you... You should be good from here on out, I think. But stop by the nurses, just in case. Uh, sure thing. Thanks. What happened? Yeah. This guy fixed her leg using nothing but his hand! Seriously? He's a healer! Wow! So did our school! This is what it looks like! Powers. I want nothing to do with Yokai. But how am I supposed to pretend they're not around? Why do I have the chills? I know this feeling. It's like when the fuzzball latched onto me. Except this is way more. Terrifying. What the heck is that noise? Am I the only one who hears it? By all means, take your time. That's loud. Jeez. Please, you have to help me! What did I tell you not ten minutes ago? What the hell are you doing? Remember when I said I hired you to make life easier? I know, I'm sorry! Unbelievable! Of all the things to get yourself possessed by! Excuse us, ladies. Oh, but... Mononokian! Come! What the? Knock it off! Suck it! Hey! Suck it! Deal with it! Hey! Listen! I need you to get your fingertips inside the door! Wait, seriously? That's it? How you can. It's the Tira. The same one from yesterday. Oh, all right. Door's closing. Move it or lose it. That was a close one. You're not out of the woods yet, genius. The second you set foot outside this room, they'll dogpile you again. Oh, come on. But I was finally getting to be a normal high school student. Take off your shoes. Uh, uh, hang on. Summon that sliding door again. That'll lead him to the underworld, won't it? Not possible. How come? 
Well, not that it's any of your business, but I'm only able to open the door to the underworld twice a day. So there's nothing we can do? What do you want from me? They're a swarm. It'd take days to exercise all of them. I only have so much strength. Those things are gonna chase me the rest of my life. <sighs> Calm down. We have options. Uh, so there's hope. They pack more of a wallet than you'd expect, small as they are. They're young, but they're strong, like worker ants. Does that mean there's like a queen ant calling the shots? Exactly, and they were trying to take you to the big boss's nest. Give it something to feed on. Feed? Maybe, just an educated guess. I won't know what the boss yokai wants till I meet it face to face. I need you to stay here for now. If you get eaten, I'll be SOL. I'm not about to lose the money you owe me. Whoa, wait a minute! Calm down. Lunch will have to wait. No, no! That isn't it! You're gonna try to exercise the boss yokai all by yourself? You ever want to leave this room again? I have to. I don't think you should. What? Are you listening to me? It's your only way out. But what if you get eaten? I could never forgive myself if you died because of me. I'd have to transfer to a whole other school. He's scared out of his mind. Well, all things considered, I can't blame him. He's not like me. Don't go. Look, I've been doing this kind of stuff for years. You don't have to worry about me. Take my word for it. I'm different than you are, okay? I'll get you when it's over. Oh, and just so you're aware, I'm adding this to your debt. Wait, let me go with you. Please, at best you be yokai bait. Fine then, use me as bait. What? I can distract the little ones while you try to find the boss. It's a solid plan, right? It would be, if you weren't shaking like a leaf. <laughs> what, I can't be scared? You're staying. Come on, like you aren't petrified at the idea of going it alone. Excuse me? Look, I get it. You're a professional, you're awesome, blah, blah, blah. But you're scared. We're in the same grade, we've got the same lanky build, we can both see yokai. What I'm trying to say is, we have a lot more in common than you might think. And besides, this whole mess is my fault, right? I have a responsibility. Can't let you fix it on your own. I can help you! Trust me! Persuasive. Sure, why not? This can be your first job. You want to be bait? Go ahead, be bait. Uh, thanks! Go out there and give him a nibble. What?! actually gonna let them eat me, right? Uh, yeah, sure, whatever. At least try to convince me! If they get me, it's on you! I'll come back as a yokai and make your life miserable! Until I exercise you. <sighs> Today. D hey, I'm going, alright? Here, take this. Wear it around your neck. Is it some kind of charm? Oh. As long as I've got it on, the yokai won't attack. Not how it works at all, actually. Uh, if you get eaten, it'll be unfortunate, but I'll live. Hey! That I can't do without, though. So, yeah. Wait, then you're... You're saying that as long as I'm wearing this, you have an incentive to keep me safe. You really do care if I'm eaten. <sighs> Shut up! <laughs> Oh dear, 
My human child is far from ideal, but I have little choice. Key. Key, 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 key. Oh, crap! Wait, where's Abino? I... he was just... <laughs> uh, they've eaten him! Get off. Fun's over. Whoa, you're alive? What's the point of making me the bait if you let yourself get caught? I screwed up, okay? I thought they were only after you. Whatever. Look, we have a bigger problem. Two human children. Incredible. You can see us, hear us. Extraordinary. Are you the yokai these smaller ones answer to? I am. And it seems they brought me something unusual. If you can see yokai, might I ask? Do you know of one in particular? He helps other yokai, sends them to the underworld. He is known as the master of the Mononokian. <sighs> Wait a second. Didn't Abino call himself that? I swear he did. I imagine you have a favor you'd like to ask him? Indeed, but forgive me. There's no point relaying it to a human. Mononokian master, Haruitsuki Abino. Requesting a portal to the Underworld. What the...? Kiki-ki? I'm as close as you're gonna get. You want something, I suggest you talk. I wasn't expecting a human. How very surprising. I confess to feeling a trifle uneasy. But if you really are the Master, I humbly ask you, please send us to the Underworld. Fine, but there's a problem. Yes. For now, I ask you send the little ones. As for me, we'll get to that. Ew. Hey, careful. You missed one of them. There's more? Um, Big Boss Scree, how many of these things are there? Kiki, ki Don't call me that. I sense no others. Okay. That's all of them. <sighs> Finally finished. That just leaves Big Boss... C um, the Big Boss. No. I'm afraid you don't understand. Huh? Uh, what do you close it for? Child, We're not done yet. please. Uh, Look closely at my body. Uh, is something wrong with it? My roots have grown deep. I'm anchored to this world. Uh, roots? They're called parasite shrubs. Uh, they attach themselves to yokai and grow by draining their strength. The deeper they are, the weaker the host. Curse, the underworld calls it. Here, we'd say an incurable disease. I've accepted my fate. So long as the little ones made it to the underworld. My only wish was to see my children thrive before I withered away. I am most grateful for your help. Now I may die in peace. Do the little ones know you're not coming with them? No. I didn't want to worry them unduly. Uh-uh. No, you're going, even if I have to cut these roots myself! What? Ah! Don't be stupid! They're not normal roots! Chop them off, they grow back instantly! Then I'll find another way. I'm not just gonna stand there and let him die! What's gotten into him all of a sudden? He was scared out of his mind before. You can't abandon your children. Ki? You know they'll be waiting for you in the underworld. For crying out loud, you didn't even give them a proper goodbye. You wanna leave them hanging like that? Child, do not speak as though you understand me. The little ones were my reason for living. I'd tear myself limb from limb to be with them. Endure anything without a second thought. Alas, it is not possible for me to join them. I must be content with seeing them on their way. Such is my fate. Though, if I had one more wish, it would be to be their guardian until they are big enough to fend for themselves. But that hope I must abandon. But you... Uh, uh, now what? 
If you'd really endure anything, there might be a way to get you there. It's a long shot, though. Oh, what is that? Think of it as a pill. Swallow it and the parasite shrub will be weakened. <gasps> Could you maybe have said something about this before? The catch is, the agony it'll cause you is beyond imagination. Pain so great, some people have even died from it. Uh... Still interested? He... Is it possible? I would be with my children, whatever the cost, until my body withers to dust. Mononoke and Master Abano, please send me to the underworld. Sure, if that's what you really want. This way, I'll give you that. Partially due to the medicine, of course. But also because the anxiety that made him grow so large in the first place is gone. Now, either he'll wake up or he won't. Depends on how strong he is. Big Boss Scree! Yeah. Okay! Thank goodness! Asia! Knock it off! Oh, I'm sorry. He's going to scale! I'm impressed. Forgive the inconvenience. My children are worried. I should be getting on my way now. Can you move on your own? Or... I'll take a little while, but I'll be fine. They waited. Uh... Mm. Been right here this whole time. Glad you didn't give up? as it is. Besides, I've done absolutely nothing to earn your gratitude. At the end of the day, all I did was give you a pill, but it was your strength that did the heavy lifting. I'm the Mononokian master. I should have been able to do more. Forgive me. I needed help. That's what you gave me. So thank you. You've done well. Time to go, little ones. Let's be on our way. Wait, I didn't... I owe you an apology. Hmm. It was wrong of me to talk to you the way I did. I shouldn't have questioned your devotion. I shouldn't have been so quick to want to chop off your roots. I shouldn't hey, have... Hey, that's enough. Hang on. You were going on what you knew. I was way too harsh. I had no right to call you out. I'm sorry. Kiki, Ki, if you hadn't said what you did, I might not be here. <laughs> Oh yeah, right. There's an apothecary in the underworld called Kiyakudo. The master's a bit on the eccentric side, but you should visit it while you're there. It's definitely worth the journey. A recommendation from you is good enough for me. Kiki-ki! <laughs> well, friends, we must part ways. Farewell, Abino. Farewell, Ashia. Farewell. Glad 
that's over with. I feel like all I really did was sit on the sidelines and scream my head off. Shut up, that's not true. Uh, look, if it hadn't been for you, he wouldn't have even asked for my help. I would have never given him the pill on my own. It's because you got him talking about his children that I decided to do something. I'm not the courageous type. Abino! Uh, 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 Abino! Abino! Wake up! What's going on? Talk to me! You alright? Sleeping? Seriously? What is wrong with you? Get up! Summon? What? Uh, okay. Never mind. Uh, come, Mama Makian. Here. That's not how. so it'll appear even if you say the words wrong. Yeah, where do you live again? My mom's place, a flower shop in Suzuku called Hanaashi. You heard him. Let's go. Front door will do. I'm gonna guess you're sleep-talking. <laughs> Opening door to Hanaashi and Suzuku show. <laughs> what the? This is our door. Uh. Uh. Hello? Uh. How is it even doing that? Uh, special hanging scroll. Expresses the Mononoke's will as text. It's will? Yes. It's, uh... This tea room's actually a yokai. Uh. Uh. Oh, nice to meet you. Great, you've met. Now leave. Get some rest. Got work tomorrow. Did Itsuki open two portals to the underworld? Well, yeah. One for Boskri and one for his children. Now that I think about it, though, didn't he tell me he could only open it twice a day? Something else he said. Did a, uh, yokai used to be the master of this place? How'd Abino get to be in charge? Ashia! Yes, sir? Quit talking and get out of here. I won't ask again. Um, right then. See you in the morning. Finally. Ah! I thought you disappeared. Oh. Hello, Mom. How do you feel? I worry that you're not getting enough sleep, sweetheart. Why exactly were you at school so late? Uh, no reason. Just exorcising some yokai. I know I've got to pay off my debt, but still. I'm not sure how long I can stand doing this. Is high school really that tough? Well, at least the fuzzball and boss scree seems happy. It's not easy, but at the end of the day, worth it. Mama's little workhorse. See you tomorrow! Uh-huh. Don't forget your homework. Guess he's not feeling well. Ashia! Oh, hello. I'm Saga. This here is Fushi. How are you doing? Nice to meet you. What can I do for you? Wow, do you always talk so politely? We thought you could maybe use some notes from the days you were out. Have at him, dude. Just, uh, ignore the crappy handwriting. So cool of you! Uh, no prob. So, uh, where do you live? In Suzuku. Same direction as us, then. Cool. We should walk home together. <sighs> I'm starving. This is it! This is happening! I'm finally making friends! This is what the high school experience is all about! Not sure. Let's see what they have. 
You forget something? No, I just thought, uh... You know, actually I did. We can walk together tomorrow. See ya. Have a good one. What a weird guy. You can't just pop up whenever you feel like it. You could have told me you weren't going to be in class, by the Keep way. Keep it down. In case you haven't noticed, we have a guest. Sorry. I didn't see you there. This is Meets Chigura. He's seeking our help. Thank you for agreeing to meet with me. The pleasure's ours. Shut up and read this. express emotions on my own, you see. However, when I wear the appropriate mask, the corresponding emotion <laughs> comes shining through. Oh, you're crying? That was my crying mask. This is my rage mask. What are you looking at, you little punk? Okay, we get it. Please take it off. Master Abano was good enough to exercise me once upon a time. Unfortunately, I dropped one of my masks in the process. It's of the utmost importance that I retrieve it. Naturally, the person I had in mind for such an errand was you. Uh, the mask at issue is my laughing mask. I fear the unfortunate soul to whom it is now attached will die doing just that. Sounds like it might be a problem. The only way to remove my laughing mask is to show it a face besmirched with tears. To what? You have a gift. Hey, come on, you don't have to say it like that. Go do your job. Find the man who's possessed by the laughing mask and cry for him. A temple? Uh, wait, you're not coming? It's a mask. You'll be fine. I mean, a five-year-old could do it. Don't be such a baby. My mom sent me on errands when I was four! And your point is? It's a mask, and I'm not a baby, so it'll be fine. Just stay right there. He seems quite reliable. <sighs> Treat me like a little kid. I'll show you. Hey. Oh, man. Don't screw this up, Ashia. He'll never let you live it down. Hey! Yeah? Yeah. <sighs> What do you think you're doing? <laughs> it's a yokai! Excuse me? Uh, oh, that's a girl. What were you doing in our storage shed? Are you a thief? Uh, no. I'm just looking for something. In our shed? It's a mask of a laughing face. You seen it by any chance? I clean this place every single day. Never seen any kind of mask. Why would it be here? Well, you see... Uh, I forgot to ask. <sighs> Lying will only make things worse. But if you tell me the truth, I might go easy on you. Is she trying to strong on me? Uh, Matt's dad. Guess he's awake. Dad? He's still laughing? It doesn't make any sense. He's always been such a sourpuss. Bingo. Wait, so my dad's possessed by a yokai? That's exactly why I have to see him. I was raised right next door to a graveyard, you know. If yokai were real, I'd have seen one by now. I'm 15 years old. I don't believe in that crap. Oh, you're 15? But you're so, like, itty-bitty. No way. For the record, a grade school kid wouldn't buy your crap either. A five-year-old could see through this act. Deja vu. If you don't leave, I'm calling the police. Uh, okay, okay, forget about the yokai. You don't have to believe me, it's fine. Just... Just believe me when I tell you all I'm really trying to do here is help your dad. So, don't believe you, but believe you. Sounds like a real win-win situation to me. Uh, let me put it another way. You don't have to believe me, just take my word for it. Wait, dang it, why is this so hard? What's your name? Mine's Zenko Fujiwara. Oh, I'm, uh, Hanai Ashia. Hanai? That's a cute name for a boy, huh? All right, honey. Follow me. Hold on. So you think I'm telling the truth? <sighs> More or less. I think you think you're telling the truth. Which means you're probably nuts. But for the sake of argument, let's assume yokai are real. Besides, if you can help my dad, I'll go along with whatever. <sighs> 
Thanks, Sinko. I promise this is all real. I'm not crazy, and I haven't told a single lie. <laughs> hey, Dad, there's someone here who'd like to meet with you. <laughs> <laughs> who is it? <laughs> Do I know you? <laughs> that, that mark. It's the same one the yokai had. He's definitely possessed by the mask. I'll kill you! <laughs> You're a dead man! <laughs> She's not old enough to have a boyfriend! <laughs> what? I'm not! I swear! Calm down. It's not like that. This guy says he can help you. Oh, yeah? <laughs> it's kind of hard to explain, but yes, sir. If you'd allow me to, I'd be more than happy to help. Uh, so you can... <laughs> you can make it stop! <laughs> yes, I think. Then do something! I... I can't chant my sutras! <laughs> You meant it, right? You can really fix this? Make my dad how he used to be? She's tough as nails on the outside. But on the inside, she's falling apart. Poor thing. I had no idea. Uh... My bad, sorry. Uh, whoops. How dare you lay a hand on my little girl! It was an accident! <laughs> For a sec. Daddy. This is worse than I thought. This is probably a dumb question, but what's with the book? Oh, uh, let's just say it's guaranteed to work. Yeah? I'm not kidding. Look, I swear on my life. I take it Ashia has not been in your employ for long. My apologies for having to deal with him. No apologies necessary. Experience will do him good. Forgive me for saying so. But you seem more concerned about his errand than I am. <clears throat> well, to be fair, following instructions hasn't shown itself to be his strong suit. This one shouldn't be too hard, though. I hope. <laughs> it's not working. Too self-conscious to cry. <laughs> I have absolutely no intention of letting you take my place, young lady. What do you mean? Who else is going to run the temple? You don't trust me to do a good job? That has nothing to do with it. I am not leaving this temple to my daughter. Uh, seriously? I don't End believe story, this. So he no doesn't want me to because I'm a girl. Sit down. I'm not finished talking. This isn't what I... I get it, okay? I'm not succeeding you. Conversation's over. Patrash crept closer yet and laid his head upon the young boy's breast. The great tears stood in his brown, sad eyes. Not for himself. Is that a spell? What's wrong with me? I should be a blubbering mess by now. Uh, maybe it's time to go back and tell Abba no I can't. Dang it! I'm screwed. Serves me right. Why did I give him attitude? Are you okay? I'm having a little trouble. Just give me some time. Why don't you take a break and help me clean up the yard? It'll be dark before you know it. I want to finish up while we still have enough light. You comfortable with pulling weeds and stuff? Sure, no problem. A break, huh? Might be good for charging up the old tear glands. Do you clean this whole place every day? Mm-hmm. All by yourself? Yeah, well, you know, it's a labor of love. This is where I've spent my whole life. A lot of memories for me here. I have absolutely no intention of letting you take my place, young lady. These weeds are out of control. Uh, hang on, those are daffodils! These? Really? Does that mean I shouldn't have been pulling them up? Stop what you're doing! We're replanting them right now! How could you do this? Your hands will get dirty. Let me give you one of my gloves. It's okay, really. I'm used to it. The soil is so dry. We'll need to water before we call it a day. You know a lot about gardening. Well, my mom is a florist, after all. You gonna go into that line of work too one day, or what? That was the plan before things changed. I'm the only son, so I always assumed it was my duty to carry on the family business. But then, 
Mom told me I didn't have to. Said she preferred I didn't. Uh. She said running a flower shop had been her dream, not mine. That I should do what I want. Crazy, huh? My mom thinks it's better for people to follow what they're passionate about. Well, I actually wanted to run the temple when I got older, but Dad made it clear that he won't let it happen. Uh. And I know it's not because he cares what my dreams are. He's too old-fashioned. Well, he sees that I'm a girl. Zinko, are you sure that's his reason? What else could it be? He said he wouldn't leave the temple to his daughter. Seems pretty obvious to me what he meant. Uh, sorry, I didn't. I just, um, thought maybe he didn't want you to feel an obligation to choose the same path as him, that's all. Could that be true? Did it have nothing to do with me being a girl? To be perfectly honest, I was relieved when Mom said I didn't have to be a florist, you know? Basically meant I could choose whatever path I wanted to. Whatever path I wanted. So Dad just... He didn't want me to feel pressured into following in his footsteps. <sighs> I think all that yard work might have actually done the trick. I ought to be able to cry now. <laughs> uh, what did I say? I don't know. Are you okay? Why are you crying? What's wrong? Why am I crying? Because I'm happy? No. Because I'm sad? No. Because I'm mad at myself for not giving Dad the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> no, no, no. Whatever I said, I'm sorry. I take it back. I didn't mean it. slide i'll put his feet to the fire later who the hell are you abano what are you doing here i would have been better off sending a five-year-old moron we witnessed every stage of this debacle many thanks really uh, what were you doing in my closet hey <laughs> let's go yes sir uh-oh that can't be a good look uh, let me just grab my shoes first Relying on him is more exhausting than doing it myself. Excuse me, but, um, who are you guys? Who do you think? Next time, maybe take people at their word. As far-fetched as it may seem, yokai really do exist. When you're ready to believe, I might just be persuaded to tell you who we are one day. Ready to go, sir. Finally. Oh, wait, I need the book and my bag. Hurry up. Right! Where are you going? You can't live in my closet. Zinko. Mm -hmm. Sorry I made you cry, but you were great. Thanks for all the help. What did I do? You hear me? Get out of there! What? They disappeared. Hey, Dad. Can I ask you a question? Do you secretly wish I was a boy? The hell would I? Never mind. <laughs> mm. Yokai, I'm not sure about, but I definitely believe in Hanai. Hope he knows how grateful I am for what he did. I'd sure like to see him again someday. What? Payment for services rendered, good sir. Very much appreciated. Mononokian, our guest is leaving. 
Opening... what's that say? Najiri Gucci. Oh, that thing. Go on, open it. Uh, sure. <laughs> I like spell asleep. I'd never tire of observing your behavior, Ashia. I've had my fill. And yet, curiously, I note that your expression appears to have softened since last we met. My jaw's just weary of clenching. Honestly, I've been a study in tension from the moment he showed up. Change for the better is often nerve-wracking. I feel certain Ashia will prove himself a diligent worker. Let's hope so. Don't fall in. That's the underworld. No kidding? Human beings such as him are invaluable. All the more reason to proceed with caution. Ashia is dangerous. Don't I know it. I'll keep your words in mind. So different from all the craziness that's been happening since I started school. To think, if I hadn't stepped on the fuzzball, I would have just had a regular life like everybody else. <sighs> what I wouldn't give to pet that fluffy little ball of floof just one more time. The thing was pretty fluffy. Yeah, most of the experience was horrible. But every time I slept, he'd curl up in the perfect snuggly place right next to my head. He's not a pillow. Well, if more yokai were fuzzballs like him... This job would be a heck of a lot more enjoyable, you know? You want fuzzballs? The thought of all those man-eating yokai out there terrifies me. But I'll take any fluff job that comes my way! You're just all fluff all the time. I know what you're really thinking. It's because I'm a five-year-old who can't handle anything else. I'm just useless dead weight, and every job I've been on so far, you've had to come and bail me out. I might as well just go. You're such a sad sack. Stop whining and give me your hand. What's this? It's your pay for that last job. Huh? I mean, you could have done better, but you did get the mask back to the client. But I still owe you like a million in, don't I? Then start saving them up. Once we're square, you can quit and try living life like everyone else. Okay. Hey, tell me something. Hmm. Do you think Fuzzy will ever come back to the mundane world? This world? Uh, I'd love to see him again. All I can say is stick to the job, and that might happen eventually. Seriously? The real question is, what'll happen first? Seeing him, or paying me? Uh, uh... I'll be gone all day today and tomorrow. Just FYI, because I don't want you getting all annoying and stuff again. Mind telling me where you'll be? Uh... Hiyakudo. You don't have to tell him everything. Hiyakudo. Why does that sound strangely familiar to me? Oh, I remember. That's the apothecary you were telling the big boss about. Yup, it is. But I also remember you saying the shop was in the underworld. Oh, no way! You can actually go to the underworld? <laughs> you can too, Hanai. You mean it? Slow down. Wouldn't it be good for Hanai to see the underworld once? The field trip sounds amazing! What? You realize he's scared to death of yokai? Seems to me that's the last place that we should send him. Come on, I'm down. Yeah? What? I know uh, you don't really want to go there. You're just saying that because you think I'm trying to test your nerve. No, that's not it. To be honest, I'm curious. Besides, it makes sense. Because if I'm gonna be stuck working for you, I should learn as much as I can about the job and yokai. I mean, that's a pretty good reason. Don't you agree? Fine. This Saturday. We don't have school that day, so meet me on the roof at noon sharp. That's awesome! Thanks. Don't let any yokai eat your eyes or ears. <laughs> you guys wanna go grab a bite on Saturday? My tree? Oh uh, yeah! I'm there, dude. It's been a few days, and every time I've seen Abino, he falls asleep immediately. And then he's gone before I know it. I haven't had the chance to ask him what the underworld looks like. I hope it's not like those horrible paintings of hell. <laughs> now there's a look! You scared me. So what's with the camera? I'm in the photography club, and we're having a contest coming up real soon. Oh yeah? 
Check out this killer cat pick. Sure, I love cats. Could be a winner. Whoa! Cool, huh? Yeah, not very friendly. You gotta go see the nurse. Okay, right. Where is her office again, man? It's straight down the hallway. There's a bunch of gauze and ointment and stuff in the white cabinet near the door. <laughs> of course you know you're the kid from the nurse's office. That's supposed to be a nickname. But I'm not gonna sting myself with any medicine. You have to disinfect it! Sure thing. Medicine? Uh, I'll bet the reason Abedo needs to go is to get more of the stuff he gave to the big boss. Maybe that's a tool that exorcists need to have on hand or something. Hey, I'm here. That's not the same kimono you usually wear. It is when I visit the underworld. And you'll be wearing this. Oh, really? No thanks. I only had a woman's cloak, so you're just gonna have to deal with it. So long as you wear that thing, everybody will know you work for me. So if you don't want to be possessed, you should put it on. I think I'd rather be possessed. Put it on! The Mononokian wanted you to have this. It wrote me a personal note? Is this a field trip? Business trip. But the Mononokian was worried about you. So if you just follow the rules, everything will be hunky-dory. Great. Now the Mononokian is treating me like a little kid, too. Human beings such as him are invaluable. All the more reason to proceed with caution. I feel stupid. And please don't tell me that I look stupid in this ridiculous outfit. And don't you dare tell me it suits me. You look fine. Oh, okay. Whatever. I'm opening the door now. Mm. Mononokian Master Haruitsuki, requesting a portal to the Underworld. Grant me entrance. something? What? If Meech Chigura could enter the underworld through the Mononokian's little door, why can't we? Only I can cross worlds through it. That's because I'm the master of the Mononokian. You could argue it's one of the perks. But because he came from the underworld, he couldn't come into ours. That's why he had to hire us, you know? Of course. And since you come in from this world, you can't pass through to there. Uh, so... The door to the underworld connects it to this world, making it possible to pass between them. That's the only way it works. Ah, but as long as I go through this way, everything will be just fine. Yeah, it'll be great for you. Mm. You do realize this means I'm gonna have to open this thing twice, right? We gotta get in, and then we gotta get back out. Uh, then that's why it's not so great for you, huh? I'll be fine, but try to remember just one more rule. What is it? While we're down in the underworld, don't let anyone know that you're a human. All right. Let's go. Uh, so, uh, what happens if I let that slip? Well, they won't give you a quick and painless death, that's for sure. You mean if they find out, they'll really kill me? You think about hanging back now? <laughs> no! Hey! I want to go! Sure. I'm scared out of my mind, but hopefully I'll see Fuzzy again. That'll make it better. Uh, uh, this creepy place is the underworld where yokai dwell. I hope Fuzzy didn't get lost in this place. What if Big Boss Scree ran out of steam on the way down here? starting to feel super anxious and weird. Really weak. Um, and kind of like I can puke. Is this underworld sickness? <sighs> well, at least I can still walk. Hey, we're almost to the exit. Uh, okay. Are you sick? No, oh, man, I feel fine. <coughs> You're obviously not fine. The rules said to tell me immediately if you start to feel sick. I'm just peachy. You look like crap. Underworld sickness can make you emotionally unstable. 
That's why we have the damn rules. <sighs> Clean out your ears, because I said I was fine. Rule number three says no quarreling with you, so sorry about all that. Let's head to the exit. If he thinks he's fooling me with that, he's lost his mind. Oh, that's so bright. Uh, this is the underworld? Quit staring and get a move on. Yeah, okay. Scary. But besides the yokai everywhere, that's not so different from our world. It's so bright and colorful. Wow, it's nothing like that tunnel, huh? And I feel better. Like, really good. That was a close one. I knew you were sick. Sorry. <sighs> we're here. This is Kiyakudo. Likewise. Looks like you've got a lot going on here today. Huh? Humans? Shizuku's gotten better as passing for a human. Haven't you, love? <laughs> yeah, keep that phrase coming. Uh, you still got your newt's tail, though, huh? That's her tail? I don't know why it's so hard to make this stupid thing go away. But the tail is a little reminder of who you truly are, so I'm rather fond of it. Well, then I guess I really don't mind it so much after all. I see you're still in love with your master. Anyway, I'm here to get the usual. I thought you might need to replenish soon, but first, let me... But first what? It's been forever since I've touched you. Your aroma is still so intoxicating. And these uh, lovely fingers. Your whole uh, body is so... This is getting kind of naughty. Those beautiful uh, eyes. I could make the highest quality medicine with them. Quit being so freaky. Oh, first I'd need to dry the eyeballs, slice them up nice and thin, and keep them at a rolling boil for an hour or so. Oh, the thought of making medicine from your exquisite body, it's almost too much for me to handle. This has gone way beyond naughty. <laughs> she could make much better medicine from my body if she wanted to. In fact, I hope his eyeballs crumble up and fall out of the side. Oh, is she jealous? Tell me, Itsuki, who is this boy with you? You mean me? I'm Ashia. He's the newest employee of the Mononokian. Your new assistant? Hi. I sincerely hope that we didn't come across as rude by not introducing ourselves sooner. My name's Korra, and I'm the mistress of the Kiyakudo. I'm Shizuku, her faithful employee. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Mm, same here. It's very nice to meet you both. Guess they're kind of normal. Ashia, you have exquisite ears. Would you ever consider selling them to me as a set? Never mind. They may be the scariest yokai I've met so far. I take whatever you part with, be it tooth, tongue, finger, oh, you're so much or organ. Than Thanks, but I'll pass. Cora, quit messing around and make with the pills, okay? Yes, of course. I should have mentioned this sooner. But sadly, I don't have any at the moment. Really? But you know I need them. I was careless and gave it all to another customer a few days ago. What? How could you? Don't get mad at her, okay? It's your fault that we're out of them. Because you went and told some random yokai that you exercised about our shop, didn't you? Some spiky, bald-looking guy that screeched all the time? Uh, must have been the big boss. I know who you're talking about now. How awesome. That means he made it here. Anyway, this so-called big boss came here to the shop. He told us he was one of your friends, so I gave him the medicine he asked for. Naturally, I ran the order and put everything on the Mononokian's tab. I thought that might happen, so it's fine with me. Then I hope it's also fine that we gave him your portion of the medicine. We were worried that it might make you angry. But the poor old guy was in such bad shape that we really had no other choice. I'm not mad at you ladies at all. And I do appreciate the consideration you showed my client, but still... I do need what I came here to get, and I need it as soon as possible. Of course, I'll pay extra for the rush charge. Please. He really needs it. 
You do know I would gladly forgo the rush fee if you just hand over those beautiful eyes to me. We can't give it to you just yet, but it'll be ready before too long. I'll go super fast! Uh -huh. We were just whipping up a little batch before you two showed up. I hope you don't mind waiting a bit longer. It's cool. Oh, by the way, will you please do me a small favor? What is it? I have a request for the both of you. Your hands. I need them. Uh, that is definitely not worth it. I got a little freaked out by that. She was trying to say that she needed some help around the store. I thought she meant that she was just gonna chop him right off. Cora knew exactly what she was saying, man. She was trying to freak you out. Well, at least this'll kill some time while we're waiting around. I actually don't mind helping them out. Oh, but their ingredients are so gross. Well, this doesn't make sense. Is there something wrong? Kinda. The inventory list for this one is missing. I'm gonna go check with Shizuku about this. You think you're good in here? Yeah. Ah, I hate going into their workshop. The screams give me the heebie-jeebies. If it bothers him, it must be pretty bad. I almost can't believe the kind of crazy stuff they have sitting around in jars. Huh. Now, which one has the worms? Let me see. Uh, aha! Uh, wait a sec. Is that him? Fuzzy! I bet I could catch up with him if I ran. But I'm sure that if I leave the shop, I'm definitely gonna get chewed out. Uh, uh oh. Blood? Is he hurt? <laughs> I know I'm breaking the rules here. Hobbino's gonna be furious. If there's this much blood, he must be pretty messed up. Fuzzy, hold on! Please, wait up! <laughs> gotcha! Fuzzy, it's me! Are you okay? What happened? You're bleeding like crazy! Juice? Not blood? Excuse me, are you fuzzy? Uh, it's like his twin or something. Fuzzy doppelganger? Uh, uh, hey, Fuzzball! You still want this thing? I guess he's too far away to hear me. Now what am I supposed to do? Get back here! Was a little weird. Oh well, this is taking up way too much time. I'd better try and get back to the shop before he notices I'm gone. <laughs> Caught you red-handed, you thief! A capybara? And just who are you calling a thief anyway? You thought you could transform and get away from me, but I got news for you. It ain't happening today. Wait, why do you think I stole something from you? Because you're holding it, you damn idiot! What? You stole that fruit from my stand just a minute ago. Oh, this thing? No! There was a yokai running with it and he dropped it! I just picked it up off the ground! I guess I'm just gonna have to teach you not to steal from me. And it's gonna be a painful lesson. Uh, hold on. Is that the Mononokian's crest? Uh, yes, sir, it is. Uh, Mononokian? Wait, you mean the exorcist? I've never seen one. Is the Mononokian famous here? Oh, is a guy like you connected to it? Well, uh, I'm a part-time employee. A part-timer, huh? Well, that changes everything. I reckon a more amicable solution might suit both of us, don't you think? What exactly do you mean by that? What I mean is, since you work for the Mononokian, you must get paid pretty well. So give me all your money, Mr. Knife here goes away, and I'll forget this whole thing ever happened. What do you say? Seems more than fair to me. All my money? And I can live? Um, this is everything I have. I think it's a pretty good deal, too. Are you kidding me? I don't have more! My time alone isn't worth your pitiful spare change! No, please don't kill me! I heard a rumor that the master of the Mononokian has been working all by himself recently. Oh, so you're saying that there are no employees. Uh, I get it. You lied about working there so you could get away. Nice try, scumbag. 
But come to think of it, someone working for the Mononokian wouldn't have to steal things. I told you, I didn't steal anything. And I really do work for the Mononokian. I'm not <sighs> lying. You're making it worse by lying to me, kid. And that means this punishment just got way harsher. You'll learn your lesson, all right, and never forget it. What's wrong with you? This is just a misunderstanding. Listen! If I cut off that arm, you'll never steal with it again! He actually tried to cut me. Don't run. Hold still so all I cut off is your arm. I don't want to do this, but I've got no choice. If I let you go, it'll send the wrong message to the other kings. Listen up! Pay attention so you can see what happens when you steal from me! You get cut! I'm dead. someone who was trying to help. Your actions were indefensible. You realize that, surely. Uh-oh. Um, hey there, Habano. Imbecile. You wandered from the shop without my leave? What's going on? Better yet, what the hell have you gotten into? Well, I... He's really scary right now. I'm a dead man. <laughs> Perhaps you imagined I'd smile and greet you with open arms, talking down to inexperience? Am I a babysitter? Wait, what was he babbling about earlier? Something about working for the Mononokian, right? If that's true, then... I'm all ears. Oh, no. This angry guy must be... Calm down, Itsuki. You can't just start a fight in the middle of the street like some kind of thug. You're the master of the Mononokian. Back <laughs> off. Let go of me, Shizuku. Wait, breath, did, okay? did she just Have call him the master of the Mononokian? I think so, yeah. But what the heck is going on? 
Why are you talking to this yokai? And why the hell is he on the ground? I've got the wrong idea. I'm the victim here. Bozzy, he's been hurt. Hey, don't walk away from me. It's okay. Don't try to move. Let me see. That's the yokai from the other day. Looks like he's been hurt pretty badly. <sighs> what exactly went down here? Uh, nothing. It was... Can you stand up? Please, sir, whatever mischief my employee's gotten into at your expense, let me put it right. Hey! I didn't do anything wrong! You're a child. Shut your mouth! Uh, are... Are you really who they say you are? The rumored second master? Yes. I don't believe it. The man who killed his predecessor standing right in front of me. A word of advice. Take the rumors you hear about me with a grain of salt. I am simply the current master. Now then, since my employee is directly involved in whatever mishaps befallen you, I'm responsible. I'm sorry, but as there's been violence, I have to report this to the authorities. See, at the end of the day, it's a clear violation of the rules. With any luck, you'll get off with a fine, but... Wait! I had nothing to do with this! I'm just... I'm just an innocent bystander! Hey, what are you talking about? That's yeah, a lie! I'm sorry! I really must be going! Oh, stop! Get back here! Stop Ashia. telling the truth! It can wait! Right now our priority is getting back to the Kyakuro and treating him! Yeah, right. They're certainly taking their time, aren't they? What's taking so long? Surely they found Ashia by now. Huh? Oh, a tadpole line. Cora here, to whom am I speaking, please? So formal. It's just me. Oh my. Legislator. <laughs> Come on, don't do that. Calling me by my job title is so cold. Makes me think you have ulterior motives. You know perfectly well I always have ulterior motives. The vocal cords producing that voice would make an absolutely splendid medicine. I'm sure they would. Is Shizuku here? Sorry. Not at the moment, I'm afraid. She's out with Itsuki. Itsuki? He's in the underworld right now? Good help is so hard to find these days. Literally, in this case, it seems. His new whipping boy's gone missing, so they're out trying to rein the lad in. Whipping boy? What do you mean? His new employee, or have you not heard? Ah, uh, I see. Itsuki's supposed to run all new hires by me first. Seems our friend's not a stickler for protocol. Do me a favor. Yes, darling. Would you mind giving him a message for me? It'd be my pleasure. Go for it, love. The new boy has to meet with my approval. That's the way it's always been, that's the way it always will be. I have the final say. And rules are rules. Tell Itsuki to bring him to me without delay. Thank you. I can see your predicament. Sorry. It all just happened so quickly. Uh, Here we are. All patched up now. Fuzzy! So then... He's gonna be all right, yeah? Yeah, it's not nearly as bad as it looks. With a little rest, he should be as good as new in no time. That's great news. You two are a couple of miracle workers. <laughs> okay, then. Well, I guess he just let everybody know who his favorite is. Wow, he's such a love bug. Uh, go on, Abino. You can pet him, too, if you want. That's not why I... Oh, forget it. Does his contact not affect you anymore? Uh, uh, whoa, I don't feel like crap. Oh my goodness. I almost forgot the legislator asked me to pass on a message to you and Shizuku. Uh, the legislator? Great, just what I need. What does my brother want this time? Well, for you, he says he misses you and would like a visit sometime soon. That poor fellow's very lonesome. I was just over there yesterday. Okay. And for Itsuki, he expects you to bring your new employee by for his approval as soon as possible. Something about rules? <sighs> he didn't seem too happy about having to ask. I wouldn't wait. What? You gotta be kidding, right? He's the one who made it legal for masters to choose their employees in the first place. 
I'm sorry, darling, but it's no use complaining to me. I just don't understand why he would change his tune all of a sudden. Well, my dear, I can't say for sure, but perhaps it's because you neglected to tell him you hired someone. He did seem rather sulky. Of course he did. Fine. We have no choice but to go. Go where, exactly? Newt Lake. That's where the legislator dwells. All right, Ethan. Who's he? And should I be worried? Worried? Come on, we're talking about my brother. He's my superior. There, I said it. Uh, Seriously? It's the way of things. He's one of three influential figures here. They essentially manage the underworld. Uh, and we're going to see him? Well, that settles it. What? I'll give you the medicine we've made thus far, so you don't go away empty-handed. That'd be great. Oh, hey, and would you mind throwing in some of that healing salve while you're at it? What would you need it for? To take care of the hairball. Really? Does that mean we're taking him back with us to the Mononokian? Of course, somebody has to look after him. And by somebody, naturally, I mean you. Don't worry, I'm all over it. Uh... Oh, he really likes you. Little guy must feel super safe to fall asleep on you like that. Uh. Here's the medicine. I'll have the rest made the next time you visit. Thank you again. Whatever it is, that stuff must be important. Well, good luck with the legislator. See you again real soon. Sure. Thanks a lot for patching up Fuzzy. Aside from the legislator, there's the justice and the executive. They're the three big shots I mentioned earlier. True to his name, the legislator has the power to set rules. Anyone who breaks those rules is punished. Punished in the underworld? Sounds terrifying. It is, or at least I suppose it would be if I weren't exempt. According to the rules, the master of the Mononokian is permitted to act independently. Wait, so... They just let you run around and do whatever you want? How does that work? Shut up, I'm not a wild animal. Besides, I'm not above the law. There is one rule I have to follow. Wow, just one? Yes. The master must obey any rule directly imposed on him by the legislator. If I run afoul of that, I lose my job. End of story. Makes sense, I guess. Uh, how much farther? Shouldn't there be a path or something? We're just wading through grass. How do you know we're not totally lost? Quit whining. We're taking a shortcut. Stop acting like a baby. Newt Lake is just up ahead. And that's where the legislator is, right? You said something about him dwelling there. Yes. So what kind of yokai are we dealing with? He's not dangerous or anything. Mm, not exactly, no. Then again, he gambles, and he's a full-blown unapologetically alcoholic pervert. So a real pillar of society. Doesn't seem like the kind of guy I'd want making the rules. He loves his sister. <sighs> um, let me get this straight. He's the guy who gets to decide whether or not I'm worthy of being your employee? Unfortunately, yes. <sighs> if he fires me, I'm gonna have to rethink my life. Do what? Hey, perk up. I'm not just gonna let him fire you. So, like, you being all mean is just an act? You actually like having me around? Slow down. Don't read into things. You have a debt to pay off. Oh, right. We're here. Oh. This is Newt Lake? Uh. So, you wanted to see me? Nitsuki, glad you could make it. Finally, I assume this boy is the new hire? Well, it's my pleasure to welcome you to Newt Lake. <laughs> Not what I was expecting. What's the matter, Fuzzy? Hmm. This is what I get for putting my faith in you. I realize vetting isn't easy, but picking someone so weak, for crying out loud, one look is all you need. <laughs> Consider another line of work. No offense, but you just don't have what it takes. Uh, come on! You can't just spout off crap like that. You can't handle the job. You expect me to candy coat it? Moot point either way. Humans aren't suited to the life. Uh. He knows I'm human? Am I wrong? I'm not what I look like! I'm a yokai, really! Um, yeah! A special humanoid yokai! Worst <laughs> liar ever. Back me up, please! Whatever, fine. He's a human being, are you happy? What's 
the deal, Abino? I thought we weren't supposed to give it away! Do they know you're human too? Should we let them in on that It'll little keep secret? it down, moron! I know what this is! You're abandoning me to save yourself! Will you please shut up? You're throwing me under the bus! I'm not an idiot! Jerk face! Traitor! Con artist! Petty tyrant! Knock it off! One more word out of you and that's it! <laughs> Besties, huh? Stay out of this! Ashia, by any chance? Um, yes, it is. Wait, why is this familiar? Just so you know, I had my own reasons for hiring him. And besides, you think I'd take someone on who couldn't handle it? If I didn't have full confidence in him, he wouldn't be here. Confidence? Does he really mean that? Sure, he's a failure who makes my job harder more often than not, and he's supremely irritating. Thanks for lifting me up. And if you make a rule saying I have to fire him, I won't disobey protocol. I'm not the type of guy who likes to rock the boat. That being said, however, as long as it's not an official rule, then I'm not going to fire him. Well, Nitsuki has spoken his mind. What's your opinion on the matter? Can a human being do the job? Can you give yourself mind, body, and soul to the service of yokai? Mind, body, and soul? Seems like kind of a tall order. All for yokai? Am I willing to do it? Serve them? You're right, Legislator. I'm human. There's no getting around that fact. But what you're asking makes no sense. You might as well tell me that I need to give myself to humankind. I wouldn't know what you were talking about then, either. Really? Well, think about it. What if you were asked to devote yourself to humans? It's a nice concept, but what does it mean, right? Same thing applies if we're talking about serving yokai, doesn't it? <laughs> Would you stop? He's speaking in metaphor. No, no, he has a point. Uh, Why would he consider serving yokai? Clearly the greater good in regard to his own kind is beyond him. Uh, hang on a second, it's not beyond me. Just something I haven't um, really considered the scale of before, you know? I wanted to help the yokai I've met through the Mononokian, on an individual basis at least. But I don't know, maybe that means I have the aptitude for helping all of them. How could we ever be sure if you make him fire me? Now, Itsuki, since Ashia is human, I assume you plan on returning to the mundane world? Yeah, and of course you're opening a portal to do so. One may only pass between the mundane world and the underworld using underworld portals. You instated the rule yourself, I believe. Right, and it's about time I instated another, don't you think? So, the Master and his employees are free to pass between the Underworld and the Mundane World using the Mononokia. There you have it. Your well-being is important. No use wasting energy opening portals for Ashi. So, does that mean... Congratulations on your new employee. Nicely done. Well, that's a relief. I thought I'd be put to death if you found out the truth. Excuse me. Don't be such an idiot. It's okay if the legislator knows. Oh, gee, thanks a lot. Would have been nice if I'd known that earlier. I tried to say something, but you were too busy calling me names. The Justice, the Executive, and I know. Matter of fact, even Korra's in on it. Mitsuki being a human isn't any shock to us. Even Korra knows about it? Well, what about Shizuku? I haven't told her. The fewer yokai in on it, the better for everyone, I think. We don't want it generally known, understand? Things could get rather complicated. See to it, Itsuki's secret is safe. Sure. Fuzzy? What's wrong, Hairball? Charming nicknames. You know, I'm rather curious about our friend here. Fuzzy, huh? I can't help but wonder who you are. Oh, uh, well, he sort of got hurt on account of us, so we're taking care of the little guy until he gets better. So hyper. <laughs> Fuzzy, no! I'm so sorry, are you okay? Uh, he's usually better behaved. <laughs> no harm done, really. He just wanted to request something while you were here. Seems he's somewhat keen on the idea of coming to work for you, too. Uh, is that okay? I have no problem with it. Hired. That was easy. Whoa, whoa, I'll hire my own employees, thank you. Uh, um, Abano? 
What? I'm doing you a favor. Having an actual yokai around might come in handy. <laughs> I'm instating a new rule. Itsuki has to hire Fuzzy immediately. No, it's law, so there. But... <sighs> Fine, whatever. Welcome to the family, Fuzzy. Are you excited? <laughs> It was a pleasure meeting you. Feel free to come and pay me a visit any time. I'd love to share a bottle of sake with you. I'm too young to drink, actually. Oh, that's right. The mundane world has that whole thing about underage drinking. I can have some tea. Don't take him up on it. Trust me, he'll talk your ear off for hours. Go on, Fuzzy. After you. Itsuki. What? Sorry for hiring the hairball. I suppose I could have at least discussed it with you first. Yeah. No, really. I think I understand now. You rejected all the yokai I recommended for employment, so I thought you simply weren't interested. You had me convinced you wanted to go it alone without having to bother with employees at all. Silly me. The truth is, you just didn't want a yokai. Well, humans aren't particularly susceptible to parasite shrubs, so I guess it makes sense. Abano? You're coming, right? Want me to leave the door open? Give me a second. Not to get personal, but aren't you being just a smidge uptight? You're concerned, sure. But logically, the odds of it happening again... Legislator... Don't go there. Move it! You're in the way! <laughs> hey, why are you so angry all of a sudden? Bye. Good to see you, Legislator. Consummately civilized, even when he's angry. Oh, Hapano. Such a terrifying master you are. Uh... There are 
were several reasons for us being late, besides seeing that guy. Mm -hmm. scary, but I'm fully aware that I brought on all the trouble myself. And anyway, some pretty cool things happened too. I really enjoyed meeting Korra and Shizuku. The legislator allowed me to become an official employee, and Fuzzy's back with me. You said it would be a good experience, and I learned so much down there. As you know, my daughter is going to be five years old soon. And it's safe to say she's on track. Do you always have to talk about her during class? She drew an amazing picture of me the other We're looking for a ring this time? Techniques. An odd thing for a yokai to lose. It's just a regular wedding ring. Then what's the deal? Uh, an old woman. Since her husband passed away, she's been wearing both hers and his wedding bands as a kind of a remembrance. Unfortunately, while she was out on a walk one day, hers dropped off her finger. I bet that's going to be tough to find. His ring's possessed. The yokai who's attached to it is who hired us. Our job's to find it and give it back to the lady. He wants to move on to the underworld, but this happens first. It's a pretty straightforward gig. <sighs> Three times? More eyes looking means we have a greater chance of finding the thing and getting it over with. The usual place and time, right? I'm sure it hasn't changed. It's already past the meeting time. Someone so young could have created it. She did take some of the for her eyes. That's how the mind works. This is so boring. I'm talking about art. Listen up. Hey, that's it. I'm bringing it to the next class. You kids won't believe your eyes. Hey, teacher. Yes, what is it? I would just really like to get out of here soon and go to the store. So can you please stop babbling now? I can't believe he actually said it! Oh, I suppose I let the time get away from me. All right, then class is dismissed. And no dilly-dallying on the way home. Fushi. Huh? Way to go. Who knows how long he was gonna ramble on and on like that. I just wanted to get out and go to the store. Ashia was all pale and looked like he was about to die, and Abado looked like he was about to rip somebody's head off. I had to do something or things were gonna get messy. Then you did all of us a favor, man. No prob. I was gonna ask Ashia if he wanted to go to the store with me. Oh yeah? He ran out of here so fast he practically hit light speed. Huh. Probably had diarrhea. So, how late are we? About six minutes. We got here as soon as we could. I think it'd be best if you hung back inside. You're still hurt, you know? I'm just worried you'll get too excited and re-injure yourself. That's him. Okay. I know we're late, Manjiro. I'm sorry. Start slacking off. And you can't get all touchy. Hmm? Who did you bring with you? They're my employees. I'm Mashia, and this guy on my shoulder is Fuzzy. It's nice to meet you, Mr. Manjiro. Now, you don't have to call me Mr. Youngin. Manjiro suits me fine. Oh, okay. Whatever keeps him off me, I'll do. She lost it somewhere around here? 
Yeah, but we've been looking for a while. The current may have washed it away. It is moving pretty fast. Just wait here, okay? Keep on looking. Uh, no one else is helping me. You're it! So no matter how many times we come here, you boys are in it until we find that ring, you hear? Yeah, that should be pretty obvious. And there's no reason you need to be twisting my arm over it now. We see every job we take through to the end. <laughs> Abino's telling the truth. Hmm? So relax. There's no doubt we'll find it. And that's a promise. Hmm. That's a bold claim. Ever since I was a little kid, I've been good at finding metal things like earrings and scissors and stuff, so a ring should be easy. Yeah, weirdly specific talent. What if I find it before you do? Will you give me a bonus? Yo, hairball, look on the shore, would you? There's no sense in pushing yourself too hard. Okay. I feel like it's this way. Working on instincts, huh? And what are you doing with your hands? This is serious. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> you punks sure talk a big game. So you better make good on finding it. I know. We discussed this. Where is it? <coughs> hey, Manjaro. Mm. Just let us handle this part of it. You need to get out of here. Go back over to the old lady's place and near her husband's ring. You're not supposed to stay away from it for very long. And you can't hide the fact that spending this much time in the mundane world is affecting your body. I mean, look how big you've gotten. Hm. I know what's happening to me, son. Hey, come on. <clears throat> Just to be clear, whether I've found the ring or not, if I think you're in danger, make no mistake, Manjaro. I will exercise you by force. Hey, Abino! <laughs> is this it? You guys! Look, look! This has got to be the ring! Did he really just use his instincts? I told you I was a natural at finding metals, didn't I? Uh, hey, let me get a look at that. <gasps> well, I'll be. That really is her ring, all right. Thanks, uh -huh. you know. <laughs> Let's put that little beauty back on her finger, pronto! <laughs> so what's the plan now? How are we gonna make sure the old lady gets this thing? What do you mean, how? We go track her down and then give it to her. Hey, lady, we got your ring, yeah? Look, make whatever point you're trying to make. Uh, if two dudes walked up and gave you something they couldn't know you were looking for, wouldn't that freak you out a bit? He may have a point. You reckon it would scare her? Uh, hmm. Maybe. She would probably just assume the two of us stole it from her. You see, all that I'm saying is that we need some plan of action. What's a good, non-scary way to return it? I say we just drop it off in her mailbox. Surely we can think of something better than that. Wait, why do you care so much about how we do this? Because of him. Once she has it back, Manjiro's gonna go on to the underworld, isn't he? Uh-huh. That means this is gonna be the last time he'll ever see the old woman. It was obviously important to him to make sure she had it before he left. And he went so far as to hire us and even searched around for it himself. So instead of dropping it off, it would make it more special if we told her a bit about him, right? Tell her? I think it would be nice if we honored his commitment to her, and I'm pretty sure that it would make her feel really good as well. So, uh, do you have a plan for that? Uh, not quite yet, per se. Maybe we could try- We really don't need to go out of our way. Uh, oh, sorry. Am I getting ahead of myself here? Listen, I understand the sentiment behind what you're thinking. But generally, people don't like to know when yokai are involved in things. Remember, most people can't see or hear them at all. So they usually get pretty creeped out. Or sometimes worse. 
least that's what happens almost every time in my experience. Worst case scenario? The old lady gets a bad vibe and doesn't want to take the ring back. The best course of action is almost always to finish the job with minimal human interaction. So it wasn't that he didn't ever think to plan ahead about how to return it. But after giving it consideration based on what has happened before, his plan was don't get involved. Sorry, Manjaro. The last thing I'd want is for something to potentially screw up the job. I think we're gonna have to take Abino's advice on this one. I got your hopes up only to disappoint you. Sorry. Hey! Get your head out, boy! Ah! Oh, geez, I said I was sorry! Please don't beat the help. I swear I didn't mean to smack you that hard. I just got a little carried away, so I'm the only one who should be sorry. Huh? You got absolutely no reason to be bowing your head in shame, youngin. I appreciate you wanting to tell her about me, but we gotta remember what the job is. And that's getting the ring back to her, not telling stories about yokai. So let's have the plan B to get that done on the sly. Cause at the end of the day, all I want is that ring on her finger. Yeah, okay. Fuzzy? Uh, what's the deal? Seems like the fluffy one thinks we should go with Abino's plan and just drop the ring off. So, we're all in agreement then. Let's go. Well, Manjaro, please lead the way. Sure. It's not that far from here. Put the ring in the mailbox and she should find it before too long. Not telling her is the best way, I suppose. I mean, it makes a lot of sense, but... Come on. Okay. I can't stop wondering if there's another way we could do this. So she'll know the story. This is the place, guys. Would have been quicker with the Mononokian. I can't believe that you were making the trek all the way to the creek from here. Shoo, I would have at least taken a bike. That's way easier when you have legs. It looks like it's closed now, but what kind of shop was this? Mm, a needle shop. Ah. Uh, is this her mailbox? No, she doesn't use this one. Come around back. Is she not home? Well, the lights are on, so she's probably inside. This box, here. Mm. Just put it in there and it's over? There's so much I want to tell her. The story is really endearing. People can't see, okay? So the yokai are stuck on, like, an emotional one-way street. They can care, but no one even knows they exist. If people could see them, so much more about life would open up to them. If people could see them, well, what about me? I can. Just do it. Hold on! How are you? Oh, crap. Damn it, what the hell is wrong with you? Young man, what are you snaking around my house for? Well, ma'am. Idiot. Well, what? <laughs> You're trying to put something in my mailbox. Yes, ma'am, but I can explain. <laughs> huh? That's my wedding ring. What on earth are you doing with it? Um... Oh. You don't have to explain. Come on. Stop right there, man. Just finish it. Shake her hand off and put the ring in the mailbox. It's not like you won't be able to get away from her. You remember what I said about people? This is why. Uh, I remember. But we are people, too. We can see and hear more than everybody else. We know things that regular folks can only dream of. Whether or not they understand, 
If we just avoid them all the time and don't tell them anything, they will never understand. Do you get it? That's why I'm not running away from this. Uh, at least I'll tell her who sent us here before I do. Said, I do appreciate the thought, but we need to wrap this thing up real quick, like. So just put the dang ring in the box. Manjaro. Someone named Manjaro. He's why we're here. He wanted us to give that ring back to you. Manjiro? Yes. He said it was important and that it had a lot of sentimental value for you. Sorry, but I can't explain it any further. I know how it looks, so I understand if you don't believe a word I said. But please, whatever happens, I hope you hang on to the ring. My word. Oh. Yep, I knew it. I was sure it was gonna go down like this, but still. What am I doing? This is why they wanted to stay out of it. If she doesn't take the ring, the whole job is for nothing. Ashia! Oh. Don't say anything. Uh, it's all my fault. I should have listened to them. I shouldn't have questioned it. I should have just left it up to the experts. I'm still so new at this. I screwed everything up. I see. Uh, well, I'll be. Mom Shiro asked you to do it, did he? Manjiro's ghost is getting young men to do favors for him now. Wait, hold on. Do you actually know Manjiro? Yes, you could say that. You see, boys, Manjiro is my late husband. What? He passed away a long time ago. Uh. Maybe his ghost came around because I lost the ring. And he went and got the two of you involved. That's just like him. I was so scared that I'd lost it forever. This makes me so happy, young man. Yes, ma'am? Thank you, son. This was such a nice gesture. I wish more youngsters were like you. This is a surprise. She understands. Thank you. It was my pleasure. I'm glad you're reunited. No need for you to bow to me. If you would, please hold out your hand. Hmm? Manjiro, see that smile? Sweet Manjiro, thank you so much. Sure! <laughs> understand a long time ago and once I gave up I just closed my eyes and refused to see things any other way but even if they can't literally see them it doesn't mean they don't feel them you should come in I was about to go and get dinner started mm -hmm. consider it payment for finding my ring you don't need to give us anything don't be shy stay for dinner it's worth it uh, okay then it's a deal this is definitely more involved than I wanted to get. Come on, let's get going. How does some eel sound, my boy? Ashia. What's up? Just now. Did you happen to notice anything? No, I really didn't. Is there something wrong? It's fine. 
Forget about it. means I'm about to get a lecture. I know he said keep a low profile, but still, telling her was the right thing to do. He has to agree with me on that. Here it comes. You can't follow orders. You're like a child. That's what he'll say. Uh... Oh, man. He's about to explode with rage. Back away slowly. <laughs> nice work, thank you. Uh... <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> Seriously? Yes, what the hell's gotten into you? What did that mean? You actually said thank you! Yes. What do you mean, what did it mean? You found the ring, nice going. Down. You earned your keep today. If I'd been working on my own, there wouldn't have been a happily ever after. It seemed appropriate to say thank you. I don't know about you, but I'm marking this one down as achievement unlocked. Achievement? I kind of feel like maybe you're praising me. Uh, you must not be feeling well. Are you dying? No, and unless you want to be, take the damn compliment. <sighs> There's the Abino I'm used to. You're a jackass. <laughs> Knock it off already, you're creeping me out. Sorry. It's just, you've never actually given me a compliment before. I'm not sure I know how to handle it. <laughs> I've got the giggles. <laughs> totally involuntary, I swear. <laughs> huh? What is it? Ow! There, problem oh, solved. You slapped me in the face. You're not giggling anymore, are you? Well, no, but... Oh, I'm so tired. Exorcist stuff for days on end without a break. Homework, help around the shop. I can't keep this up for much longer. Hello. If I don't watch it, they'll start calling me that kid from the nurse's office again. Hello. Uh-huh. Uh, must be hearing things. Zinko, what? Volume. My bad, sorry. Oh, that's right. I forgot you and I go to the same school. How do you know I was in this particular class, though? I just asked around some, is all. You have a reputation. Guy next to me called you that kid from the nurse's office. Goody, it's made it to the other classes. Listen. Thanks for helping the other day. I meant to say it then, but I didn't get the chance. It's okay. No thanks needed. I helped because I wanted to. Uh, wait, so that's it? I mean, is that the whole reason you bothered to track me down? Uh, well, yeah, for starters, I guess. Hey. Uh, hey. Aren't you that little girl? The one who lives in the Seriyuji temple? You were the kimono guy hiding in our closet, right? Name's Abino. Pleasure. Oh, I'm Zenko Fujiwara. Nice to meet you. She's He's a, a high, high school student? student? I'm glad that I ran into both of you today. Uh, There's something I wanted to ask about. <sighs> Do you know what this is? A tattoo? No. Looks like a bite mark. Does it hurt? Not really. But you can see it? It's there? Uh, I showed a few other people, but they couldn't see a thing. Doctor had a look at it too. Told me I was fine and that it was all in my head. But if Babino and I can see it, then clearly that means... Uh, Zanko, look out the window for a second. Notice anything strange? Sure do. Hanai, uh, is that one of the yokai you were telling me about the other day? You can see it too? Hmm. Not just that one. Since the dog bit me, I've seen them everywhere. The dog? That might not be the best word. I'm not totally sure. The bite came out of nowhere. Could have very well been a yokai in dog form. 
Did you happen to get a look? Afterwards, there was like smoke all around. The ears were huge. Now that I think about it, it was more of a box, maybe. <laughs> what I was going to ask you. Who in the hell are you? Impossible. I didn't sense him until he touched me. Why is Abano all freaked out? That can't be a good omen. I've never met a yokai in the mundane world so in control of its own power. How long since one was reported? A hundred years? I guess monsters do still exist. <laughs> Hello there. In case you were wondering, I bit the girl. Uh, uh... Haruitsuki! Don't be that way! You haven't forgotten about me! I'm guessing there's some kind of history between you two. Is he one of your clients? You do business with a lot of these things. If he were a client, I'd remember. Meh, kind of makes sense you don't. You were just a little bitty thing back then! And I look a lot different than I used to. Sounds like I was right. Well, it's fine. You not remembering won't hurt anything. <laughs> After all, I've only come here to play with you. Things are just so terribly boring these days. You don't mind playing with me for a while, do you, old friend? Is he serious? Then again, it's not like you can turn down my invitation now, is it? <sighs> Zinko! Between letting your friend's arm waste away and indulging a simple request, it seems pretty obvious to me which option you'll go with. <sighs> now, what do you say? Let's play some hide-and-seek like in the old days, huh? It's gonna be loads of fun. Do it, and I'll remove the mark. That's all you want? Yep, easy peasy. You know the rules? <sighs> really? Don't tell me this is the first time you've heard of it. Uh, if you're a noob, you can move along. I only want people who know hide-and-seek. Uh, I know how to play hide-and-seek. Give me some credit. I killed it in middle school. Middle school? In other words, last year. Oh, good. So you do know how the game works. Excellent. Great. I'll hide. You three are it. Ready? Hang on. The three of us can't just drop everything to play with you. Why not? How come? Ah! No fair! I want to play! Come on! No, 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 no! Either we do hide Zinko, together please. or we don't do what the box wants, you may be stuck with that mark forever. Oh, wow. Come on! I'm bored! Just play with me! It won't wow, be he's throwing a straight-up tantrum. We can't play now. How come? We're in school. We have classes to get to. So what? Who cares about school? Let's play! Sorry. If you want to play with us, it'll have to wait till later. For now, just go to my family's temple and be patient. When school gets out, hide and seek it is. Okay, fine. He's cool with that? Good boy. Yeah, yeah. Just leave here after school gets out. Wait. Huh? I don't think I caught your name. Sorry if I don't recognize you. If you told me your name, though. <laughs> Better if you try to remember on your own, Haruitsuki. <laughs> He's gone. I wish I knew what he was getting out of all this. Doesn't seem to me like the underworld is on his list of priorities. Yeah, it's weird. Maybe he just really loves playing hide and seek. One thing's for sure. Our priority is getting that mark removed pronto. You're right. So we'll go to my place after school's out. And play. <laughs> Deserted, creepy statues, charming place at night. Answer your phone, Abino! Uh, of all the days for this to happen... Okay, so any volunteers to help me organize files after class today? Great, perfect. Uh, Ashiya it is. Me? Since you were at the first week of class, this will be an opportunity to catch up on everything you missed back then. That'd be great, sir, except that, um... Well, I kind of already have plans. Uh, right, Habano? Huh? You don't need to be there, actually. I'll just take the hairball with me. It's fine. Huh? Like I'm gonna let you do this on your own. 
If you haven't figured it out yet, I'm a worrier. It's so late. Are they still playing hide and seek or is everything cool? Might help if you picked up. Should have thought to ask Zenko for her number. Hey, Abino! Zenko! You guys still playing hide and seek or what? I'm here! Uh... Am I crazy or did something hit me in the back just now? Where is everybody? Nothing lying around that could have done it. If it was a yokai, I'd have seen them. Is this place haunted? My back! Something definitely poked my back! Oh my god, it's a ghost! Wait, what the... Fuzzy? Oh, thank goodness. You scared the heck out of me. I thought you were a ghost. How are you fine with yokai, but not ghosts? Huh? There you are! Come on over here. Um... Okay. We're playing hide-and-seek in a graveyard. A lot of places to hide. Isn't it bad luck? Wow, it's so dark I can't see where it ends. Abino was walking around this section a little while ago, I think. Uh, there he is. Found you. Hey. Aww, you're too good at this! Did that headstone just talk? Abino! Nice job, Haruitsuki. You found me. Next time, I'll find an even better place to hide. Wait, did, did the fox change himself into a headstone? Oh, hi. Did you just get here? You're late. Yeah, I know. Looks like I missed a pretty fun game. Oh, well. What do you say you go on and remove the mark from Zenko's arm? Again! Uh. Just one more round! What's he doing? Where did he go? We were supposed to have a deal. I thought you played with him. I suck at this. Fuzzy found him twice. Abano 20 times now. Yeah? Whenever we find him, he always insists on going again. Why else do you think Abano looks like somebody's run him over? Ah, uh, one more round, huh? You know, I thought he looked a little tired. Well, you can take a break now, Abano. The hide-and-seek champion has arrived. Oh, by the way, I was gonna ask. The fox ringing any bells yet? Or... No, not really. I figured out a few things, though. Hmm. He's able to transform himself into a variety of shapes like the headstone. He's good at concealing his presence, too. Bizarre. Oh, and like someone else we know, he behaves like a five-year-old. Can you please stop glaring at me like that? Whatever. Just keep playing till the fox is satisfied. Oh, don't you worry, boss. When I'm done, he'll be sick of hide-and-seek. You're really raring to go, aren't you? So what's the trick? How have you been able to lock onto him when he's not in his fox form? I just wander around. When I'm getting warmer, I can feel it in the back of my mind. All right. Easy enough. Just wander around. Uh... Um, anybody care to join me? You're choking me. Uh, getting anything? Not yet, but I'm looking. Again! <laughs> oh, come on. We were just over there. I didn't feel anything different. Hey, Abino! We're not picking up on him, even when we're close! What? I can't hear you! I said we're not picking up on him, even when we're close! Because you're not focusing! So we have to focus now? I guess, but what are we supposed to focus on? Huh. It's like Zen meditation. If we just clear our minds, concentrate, and sharpen our senses, then we should be all set. Yeah. Good plan. Whoa, I felt something. Like I was being drawn in. What do you see? Nothing, but I think I might know where he's hiding. This path will take us straight to him. I assume I'm leading? We have to hurry! Don't push! Okay, let me just try it again. Heads up. What are you doing? Shh. All right, here's the thing. He's disguised himself as a grave marker again. If we want this to end, we're gonna have to catch him. Yeah, I guess so. But isn't he gonna throw a tantrum? 
We're not making any headway like this. Maybe Yoko will listen to reason. Well, hey, at least knowing his name gives us something to go on. Huh? You called him Yoko just now. Oh, uh, that's not his actual name. Yoko is really just another way of saying Fox Yokai. Ah, that's news to me. That's something you should know. How is a servant of the Mononokian never heard of a Yoko? Uh, Mononokian? Servant? Uh, anyway, if we're gonna catch him, we have to be sneaky about it, alright? Last thing we want is for him to see what we're up to. So, to be on the safe side, you, Zenko, and Fuzzy hide somewhere nearby. Sounds good. Have you got a better idea? Not really. This just seems... I don't know. Sorry if I'm wrong. About what? Well... Found you. Game over. Um, what are you talking about? Ha! I knew it! No way he'd be so calm. I don't know if I'm the best judge. I've only met the guy twice. <sighs> You're a moron. Wait, now he's acting normal. Okay. Fine, you got me! Abano? Dang it. I was so sure you wouldn't figure it out, too! <laughs> I thought shape-shifting into Haruitsuki for a round or two would be a good way to keep things fresh. So much for that. Well, let's go again. Time's ah! out! Let's Can't go! keep doing this! Oh, Abino! I caught the Yoko! I can't make out what you're saying. Can you just come over here, please? Oh, what's your problem? Look, I'll keep playing hide and seek with you, but first you've got to erase the mark you put on Zinko. Wow. How'd you figure out it wasn't Abino? I would have never known. I don't know. I guess something just seemed a little off to me. My transformation was a dead ringer! It wasn't about how you looked. You called me a servant. Abino always says employee. Uh, While we're at it, he also doesn't call Fuzzy, Fuzzy. <laughs> Ever. What does he call him? Airball. Guys. Uh, what the hell is going right on there. over here? What? What am I holding in my arms? The hairball. Alright then. He's the real thing. See? You won't be able to tell him next time! Huh? true! You're lying! That's not what I said! I told you I'd keep playing after you remove Zinko's mark! You say that, but once I do, you'll just run off! You'll have to play with me for three whole days first! Three days? In a row? We'll be stuck yeah. playing hide and you seek with him for the rest of our lives. Three days? Wait a minute! That's it! Hey! I know you! You're the kid from the Mononokian! Do you want to play? That's not how it works! No, we're playing, we're playing, we're playing! We don't have a choice, we have to go to school! School stop! Play or her mark stays there forever! Yahiko? Uh, of course. You're Yahiko. Haruitsuki. I thought you forgot. You do remember my name. What the f- oh, He's trying to hide again! to remember who I am. What did you expect? This is my first time ever seeing you in fox form. I guess we both look pretty different now, huh? You've gotten so tall. How long has it been? About 30 years? 30 years? I hadn't even been born 30 years ago. It's only been eight years, right around the time that I first became an employee of the Mononokian. Abino started doing exorcisms eight years ago? How old would he have been back then? Seven? You've been working since you were seven? What kind of debt are you paying off? I didn't start the way you did. Who was the master of the Mononokian back in those days? If I remember correctly, it was Owie, isn't that so? <gasps> Owie? Look at you now. Who'd ever thought you'd be the master? Lots of rumors floating around about how that happened. Eight years, huh? How things have changed. <laughs> I didn't think the master ever would. Yahiko. Uh, 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 it hurts. Uh, Zinko! Uh, stop now! Oh, Haruitsuki. The things I hear. Uh, 
please. Oh no. This is what it feels like to be possessed. Like I said, <laughs> lots of rumors floating around about you. Is it true that you wanted to succeed Albie so badly? You killed for the job. to anybody else. 
If it would make you feel any better, you can, uh, boil me in a pot. Uh... It's roast me alive or whatever you please. So start the whole thing over. Please don't. It's okay. She said that everything is okay again! You weren't sincere at all. Do it over. <clears throat> you sure are scarier than you used to be. I'm very sorry. No, that's enough. You don't have to apologize. But I would appreciate a favor. What is it? For one month, I'll need you to help around the temple. I'd help you take care of it? Mm-hmm. Hold on a sec, Zenko. Do you really want Yahiko to hang around for that long? Yeah, can I not? Well, uh, it's not really that you can't. Yahiko. Yeah? Do you remember eight years ago? I told you the underworld has more people for you to play with. <laughs> Consider that, and tell me what you want to do. Are you saying that you want me to go away? You're probably mad that I doubted you. So do you not want to play anymore? Uh, I'll play longer. <laughs> That's great to hear! In that case, instead of going to the underworld, I'll hop around the temple for a whole year! Whoa, is that even allowed, Abino? I'd only said a month, but can you really stay an entire year? Just behave yourself. I will! <sighs> well, that was interesting and everything, but I'm glad it's over. Hey, this is where I met Fuzzy. It was right in this very same spot. Uh, <gasps> what the? A bird? No, doesn't look right. Is it real? <sighs> Wait, this is way too familiar. Same spot, weird looking thing on the ground. I knew it. Hang on. You made eye contact. So you can see me. I stepped on another yokai? Hey, you! <laughs> Tell me, do you happen to know where I can find the Mononokian? Uh -huh. The princess and I need to go there! He's looking for the Mononokian? We need to be exercised or we... <laughs> Stop. Hold on. Where am I? <laughs> A human? Huh? Why did you bring me here? Did you forget? I picked you up after you'd collapsed. You're human, but you can still see and hear me. Just who are you anyway? My name's Ashia, and I work part-time for the Mononokian. Wait! You actually work for the Mononokian?! I need your help! <laughs> you gotta take me there right now! Is T okay? Oh, yeah! Some more? You must be really thirsty. That's like your fifth cup of tea. I nearly died out there today. But what an incredible stroke of luck to be saved by a real employee of the Mononokian. My name's Jomatsu, by the way. Right before you lost consciousness earlier, you had mentioned something about a princess. I was referring to Princess Anmo, the fairest of all. Is that so? Her beauty is beyond compare. Long before I began to serve her, many other yokai adored her and dubbed her a princess. But her only flaw is she falls in love too easily, and always with those who dwell in the mundane world. She's been beguiled by five humans, fallen for 15 birds, seduced by four bears, three tanuki, two flying squirrels, and too many cats and dogs to count. And pined away for a jet. She's not very picky. It does sound like she falls in love very easily. The worst part about it is the aftermath. Uh? Since creatures of the mundane world can't see her, the love is tragically unrequited. She's constantly getting her heart broken. And each time she feels those pangs of torment, she encloses herself in an egg-shaped shell and wallows in her solitude. She hides inside an egg? Yes. Normally, she emerges after a few days spent inside. But it has been over a month this time! And what's more? The shell continues to grow larger by the day! It's growing? I just don't have the strength to move it around by myself anymore! I'm completely useless to her! <laughs> Please, Ashi, 
Yoshia, you must take me to the Mononokian! I'm sorry, but I'm actually not able to just go there. And why's that? Well, Abino, the master of the Mononokian, has to summon it somewhere. I can probably get in touch with him. But you should take it easy for the night. <sighs> Very well. But you must contact him immediately! This instant! Uh, oh. I wonder if he'll pick up his phone. Keep calling him! I can't make him answer. Hey, you know you got something on your head? Yeah, and I must have called you like a million times about it last night. Why didn't you answer? Are you the master of the Mononokian? Yes, and who are you? I'm Jomatsu. He's been looking for you so you can exercise him. If you can wait until I'm finished with today's job, I can help you out. Or next week? I can't wait that long! We have a job today? It's just a consultation with a new client. I don't think it'll go too late. I'll be done by evening. He's working on our next job. I see. Evening, you say. My poor princess. Oh, hey, Jomatsu. Uh, what do you think of this? We go over to where Princess Anmo is. And wait by her side until he shows up. Yeah! That's a great idea! Let's go! Ashia. Huh? Are you sure? You can handle that alone? He definitely isn't into it. Let's get moving! We're coming, princess! Uh, hold on, Jomatsu! I can't fly! Come back! Uh, so, what should I do? He's gone. It's not my problem. Figure it out. <sighs> Jomatsu! Wait up! Uh, you're way too slow! I can't help you and the princess if you keep flying away! You can if you hurry! Give me a break! If she hears that we can go to the underworld, that might give the princess enough initiative to finally come out of her shell. It seems like an eternity since I've seen her. So he's been waiting on her for a month, but can't give me five minutes? <gasps> what? Something wrong? No, it's fine. Nothing to worry about. Ah, didn't sound like things are fine. What is it? I really wasn't going to ask, but, uh... Well, out with it! Okay, the only thing is that it's kind of a personal question. Are you in love with the princess? A very personal question! And totally off base, I might add. I'm merely concerned about her well-being. I understand. Must have gotten the wrong idea. <sighs> Let's go! He's crazy for her. Princess! 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 That's strange. I could have sworn that I left her right under this tree. What does the egg look like? It's a little bit bigger than me and completely covered in stripes. That means I gotta be careful. I'd hate to step on it. <coughs> nope! Didn't hurt at all! <laughs> now what did you do to yourself? Oh, my shit! I hit it on a rock. A rock? <laughs> Are you positive? Uh... uh this be her egg? Ah! Yes! This is it! But the fact that it's grown so much larger since the last time I saw it completely boggles my mind! No kidding. The thing's gigantic. Princess! I've come to your aid! I was able to locate the Mononokian! We can go to the underworld! Can she hear me? In any case, she's not coming out. But I'm pretty sure the egg will fit through the portal to the underworld, at least. That is really heavy. Man, it's gonna be a real problem trying to get it anywhere with just us. I'm afraid so. Hold on. Hey, Jomatsu? Huh? What do you say we break it open? Break it? Well, the shell is just crumbling away like it's made out of sand. So if we hit it with a rock, we could get through it. No, that would be way too dangerous! Oh, really? Would it release some poison gas or something? I simply cannot risk a shard breaking off and hurting the princess! Besides, she might come out and peck us if we do that! This guy's speaking from experience. Princess, I won't let this guy hurt you! I swore to protect you with my life if that's what I have to do! Hey, can't she hear us? I mean, you've been in this situation before, so what happened then? Let's see. Well, in the past, sometimes the princess would answer me through the shell. Then that should make things really easy. Um, hello? I'm sorry to bother you, princess, but I work for the Mononokian. 
I know this is a difficult time, but I can't send you to the underworld while you're inside your egg. So if you could come out, that would help us out a lot. Hey, can you hear me in there, you're princess? You're gonna break it if you're not careful! Uh, I think she's ignoring me. I suppose it can't be helped. I'll just have to give up going to the underworld and wait for her to come out when she's ready. Are you sure? Yes. Uh, I know it's not what you want, but... Ashia, wait a sec. It's the only option we have. No, don't! This just means that you won't have to wait for her. What? That is completely out of the question. I won't allow it. You can't keep letting her get away with this behavior. Sometimes you just have to be cruel to be kind. What's gotten into you? Put that down! Get out of the way, Jomatsu! I don't want you getting hurt! Don't be ridiculous! I said it's too dangerous! Unless we do something now, this is never gonna end! I can wait as long as I have to! Well, I have a job to do, and it's not just you I have to please! I can't make Abino angry again! If you hurt the princess, you're gonna make me angry and I'll hurt you! Get out of the way, Jomatsu! Oh my gosh! I'm so sorry! to meet you, princess. Jomatsu's fine, so don't worry. <laughs> Did she really just go back in? Are you kidding me? You mean you went through that whole routine with your horrible acting because you thought you could trick her? I knew it was risky, but I didn't want you to have to wait any longer. Princess Anma? I know you can hear me. Please listen. You came out because you were worried about Jomatsu, right? Honestly, I'm worried about him, too. Mm. He worked so hard. I didn't want him to collapse on the sidewalk again. Slow down! Don't tell lies about me! I don't want the princess getting the wrong idea! Uh. Well, uh... The princess? What did she say? She asked me, Did you truly push yourself to the brink over me? Why? Because you love her, obviously. This is it chance to tell her how you feel about it. Ah, my chance? That's absurd! And how would that be? Don't play dumb. You're gonna blow it if you act like you don't care. The whole reason she asked you is because she thinks she already knows the answer. So tell her. You think so? Uh... Princess, I... It's all because... Well, I did it because... Honestly, because... I love it! I love flying through the sky with you more than anything! It's what makes every single day worth living! Oh, the joy that I feel when we're in the air! It's worth it! That's what makes the way bearable! So even after we go to the underworld, all I want more than anything that I've ever wanted is just the chance to be by your side! My dear princess, forever might not be long enough for me! Oh. Well, he certainly didn't hold back on that one. The cat is out of the bag now. Uh, come on, princess! You don't have to humor me, really! Uh, uh, oh, is that true? I had no idea you felt the same way! Uh, Steam? Uh, uh, hey, Ashia, if you can, water! Please, more water. All I have is oolong tea. Ashia. Uh, whoa. You're here already? If you want me to leave, that can easily be arranged. No, this is perfect timing. There's another one? I'd like you to meet Princess Anmo. So she was inside the egg? We were finally able to convince her to come out. All that's left is to send them to the underworld. That's the smug look of a guy who finally figured out how to solve a problem by himself. You fool. Huh? <laughs> Princess? Uh. <laughs> she looks way too happy up there.
What's going on here? Didn't you and the princess just confess your undying love for one another? Well, specifically what she told me was that she loved flying with me more than anything else, too. Yeah. She also said she'd try not to hide in her shell anymore. That wasn't actually the issue here! Did neither of you get it? This was about more than flying together! Come! On! So, what's wrong? Don't act like you don't know what's going on! You're caught up in this bizarre love triangle now, too! I've only been here a couple of minutes, you know. I was trying to get them an underworld honeymoon and storybook ending! And then you showed up at the absolute worst time! What? <sighs> Everything about today totally sucks. This stupid job. And the next one is gonna be even worse. My assistant. My name's Ashia. Very nice to meet you. Cool, whatever. Follow me. Uh, uh... Sorry I couldn't give you the deets when we talked. Of all the days for my mom to come home early, right? It's okay. This is our client? The room we need you to exercise is up here. My room, actually. That's where the phenomena appear to be concentrated? Like crazy. I wonder what could be going on in there. 
These would be what? I'm guessing this must be the place. I made my own ceiling talismans. There's a cool website that shows you how. I don't think they're working, though. Yeah, no. Hey! I put a lot of work into those! Ah, uh, so that's it. What? It's a ghost, isn't it? Can you see it? What's it like? I wasn't holding my breath, but there is something in there. Okay. You gonna give us more? Look sharp, hairball. Uh, me too? Come on, Keep her busy. Tell me, tell Don't me, let tell her come me, in. Tell me. What are you doing? Uh, I wanna see! Hey, listen, um, we'd greatly appreciate it if you stayed out here. You guys think I'll get in the way, don't you? No, no, it's just that exorcisms require focus. Plus, it could be dangerous. Aw, I wanted to see up close. Hold on, you're getting a kick out of this? Uh, okay then. What'd you say your name was? Ashia. Fine, Ashia. How's an exorcism work? Well, um, it varies from case to case. So, can you, like, see dead people? Are they creepy? Like, do they talk to you? Um... What's the scariest case you've ever been called on? Please tell me an evil spirit was involved! I track down paranormal hotspots through this app on my phone. It's awesome! You probably use it, too. Can you stop right there? <sighs> um, what kind of activity's been going on? Parts of the room will start shaking like an earthquake or something. I swear it's not me. Oh, know what I think? I think it's a poltergeist! I... A poltergeist? When did you first notice it? Wait, your boss didn't tell you? Well... Hmm. Why do I have to stay here with the lackey? <sighs> what do you think's going on in there? Can I just take a peek, please? This is what it's like working for a human, huh? Guess I can see why Abino was so depressed. Anyway, what kind of yokai are we dealing with here? Who are you? Uh, oh, Mom, you're home. It's okay, he's just an exorcist. Uh, hello. Is she mad? She's glaring at me hardcore. I can't believe you'd go behind my back and hire one after I told you not to. If I want to pay for an exorcist with my own allowance, what's the big deal? Don't take that tone. I won't have you throwing away good money. I'm not throwing away good money. These guys are totally legit, I promise. It's all a bunch of nonsense. Uh, There's uh -oh. no such thing You're as the paranormal. Scene. Yes, not there good. is. It's all in your head. Sorry, I need to ask you both to calm down. Very well. No point arguing about superstition here in the hallway. I'm having my daughter put on some tea so we can talk. Oh, thank you. She didn't have to, though. I hope Abino and Fuzzy are okay up there. So? Uh, yes ma'am? I assume you're a high school student? I'm in my first year, as a matter of fact. And the boy in my daughter's room right now? The one from the other day? He's your age? Yes, we sit next to each other in class, technically. And you expect me to believe that you're exorcists? Do you buy this claptrap yourselves, or are you just hoping I do? Um... I see. Explains the look on her face. She thinks we're full of it. I don't pretend to be a scientist, but this all seems rather dubious. From what I understand, you people think you have a sixth sense or something along those lines. Well, that's one way of putting it, I guess. I'm not an exorcist, though. I'm just his assistant. All I do is help. But you're familiar with how exorcisms are purported to work. I'm not a fan of where this conversation is headed. Excuse me. Speaking of being his assistant, I should get back up there and do my job. You're trying to duck out because you know what I'm about to ask. Whatever gave you that idea? Explain the process uh, to me. Not sure I can. Maybe, if I try to spell it out for her step by step. Well, ma'am, you see, we... I should probably start from the beginning. <laughs> you know what? Let me run that by you again. Abino was able to open up portals to the underworld, then he sends yokai through. Not everyone can do that. The ability is unique to him. If you can't see yokai, you can't see the portals. Make sense? No, it's like you're describing some kind of hallucination. I'm screwed. Okay, I've covered everything. What else is there? Oh well, I tried. If we get the weird stuff to stop, she won't care. I'm making a break for it. Sorry. 
It's been lovely chatting with you, but I really do need to get up there and help him. I'm not convinced, but do what you have to do. Um, thanks? Just one more thing before you go. Uh. I think you should quit. Get yourself a real job. I don't care what he said. I hired them. I should be able to watch. Can it be listed on a resume? You can't even explain it. Do your parents approve of all this nonsense? I can't imagine they wouldn't prefer something more conventional. What exactly are you getting out of this? Does one aspire to be an assistant exorcist? That young man is trouble. He'll lead you to ruin one day. There are far better things you could be doing. Trust me. Please move. Oh. Are you hearing me? Do you understand the situation you're in? Oh. Look, he'll exercise the yokai. All the weird things that are happening will stop. I know it sounds crazy, but it's true. Trust me. <gasps> An earthquake? house is the only thing shaking. Oh, no. <coughs> no, wait! I'm coming! Hey, what are you doing? Just looking. Abino! What's happening in there? Uh, where in the hell have you been? Sorry, I, I got stuck trying to explain things to her mom. Hairball, you see where it went? So, it got away or something? I almost had him, that idiot girl, open the door, which is why I asked you to keep her busy. Oh, the shaking just stopped. Where is he? Close by? You think he could have gotten outside? No, he's still in here. Me and the hairball are picking up on his presence. He's gotta be hiding somewhere inside the house, I'm sure of it. Pardon us. What is going on? I'm sorry, ma'am. The yokai that was in your daughter's room seems to have gotten out. What? He's still in the house, but don't worry, we'll find him. Uh, this is insane! Uh, A yokai? Are you serious? All that talk for nothing. She still doesn't believe us. I want you out of my house! I've had more than enough of your games. Give us one more chance. I'm finished with you. Get out of here right now. I will not be made a fool of. Well, fine, if you want us to leave so badly. I apologize. Forgive the intrusion. Please, let me put it right. Abino. Did you not hear me? I told you two boys to get out of my house. Now, where in heaven's name has my daughter run off to? Hmm. Uh, oh! Buzzy! Oh, not again! Somebody tell me what's going on! I'm sorry. If we want to stop it, we have to act now. So I'm going to have to check the other rooms, if that's all right with you. Fine. Have it your way. Just do something before I lose my mind. Fuzzy! Where'd you go? <sighs> Did Yokai do this? Yeah, it looks like. But it was hanging out in a girl's room. I thought for sure it'd be all cute and cuddly. What exactly are we dealing with here? No luck on the first floor. He's gotta be somewhere on the second. I don't want to lose him again. We have to be careful. Anybody there? Hello? I think I might have found something! <laughs> Is our yokai? 
Seems he wandered into this house by accident. Why is he shaking? He's exceptionally shy. As a matter of fact, the poor thing is terrified of humans. Careful had him calm down, and I was about to convince him to be exercised when the girl busted in. All the commotion and energy has got the little guy on edge, and it's manifesting itself this way, but if we get him back to that calm place we had him in before, we can convince him that we can help him get to the underworld where things aren't so scary. Damn it. I guess we're just gonna have to wait until the little guy calms back down again. on a resume. You can't even explain it. Hey! What are you doing? Get it. Hello. Mind if we have a chat? I think you'll want to hear me out. You know... Fuzzy here possessed me once. It made me feel sicker than I've ever been in my life, and I was terrified. It's hard for me to remember a worse time, but now we're pretty much best buddies. Yeah, bet you didn't see that coming, did ya? How did it happen? You'd think it's because I can see Yokai, but actually, it's because I learned why he latched onto me. I didn't realize it at the time, but Fuzzy was lonesome. When I first saw him, I was scared. But since then, I've met a whole lot of yokai. Now, seeing one doesn't even faze me. Abino and I are human. You're right. I don't blame you. I feel the same in your shoes. This is all new. You don't know what's up. got quiet. All right, boss. Um, he's better now. <laughs> the two of them seem to get along well. Yeah, take care, my friend. Goodbye, Spikey. Nice to meet ya. Sincerely apologize for the inconvenience. It's okay. Your daughter paid me a fee. I'd like to give it back if I could. Your fee isn't the issue, young man. As far as I'm concerned, you can keep it. I may not understand exactly what you did in there, but it seemed to work. So there's that. Now leave and never come near my daughter again! <gasps> she treats us? Where does she get off talking down to us like that? Yeah, I get she's a skeptic, but she doesn't have to be so rude. <sighs> Listen to me. Being treated like a con artist comes with the territory. What are you saying? This is an everyday thing? Afraid so. <sighs> what do you expect of people that can't see them? Think you'd be patient with someone trying to sell you on invisible monsters? <sighs> so we just stand there and take it? But that's not fair. How can you be so chill about this? Someone's rude to you and you just ignore it? I'm a lot less chill about it than you think. What do you want? Should I waste my time worrying about what they say? What? 
You want something? There's no way you're shrugging it off. It has to get to you. What are you talking about? Your daughter thought we were a trip. Your mother thought we were a couple of frauds. You can't just walk away from that, right? It's gotta sting a little, make you feel like an outcast. Why is he such a pain in the ass today? Ashia, stand up. It's okay. I've made my peace with it. I'm in this to serve yokai. Period. Helping them is good enough for me. He means it. When I was in the underworld, the legislator asked if I could give myself mind, body, and soul to serve yokai. I didn't have an answer for him. But for Abino? The answer's clear as day. He couldn't care less what people think. We're in the same business. But even so, in situations like this, when you get right down to it, Abino and I are complete and total opposites. Heads up! Here it comes! woman got under my skin. I'm still kind of ticked. Doesn't bother me as much when I'm playing with Fuzzy, though. Maybe this is what it feels like to be in it for them. How Abino comes. <laughs> All the more reason to proceed with caution. Ashia is dangerous. Yeah, he might be right. Not because Ashi is afraid, but because he's letting himself get too attached. Sorry, Fuzzy. Give me a sec. Hey, what's up? Sure, I can talk. What's going on? Yeah, he's here. We're still at school, actually. No, nothing today. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yahiko's in trouble? Right. Got it. Hold on. Hey, boss. Zinko's got a problem. Wants to know if we can come to the temple ASAP. Tell her yes. Yahiko insist on being difficult, or what? I don't know. That's not what it sounded like to me. Lovely weather across the country today. Unfortunately, clouds are moving in. We've got rain in the forecast tonight, starting around 8 p.m. for the northern districts, 10 for the southern. Some areas can expect to see up to three inches over the next few days. Hear those two clouds from the other day. Is this how we die? I'm glad they made it here quickly. Sorry if we caused you any inconvenience. You've got some kind of nerve. Anyone who makes my daughter cry like that ought to have their face rearranged. Oh, please don't hurt us. We're only here because she called and asked us to come. She called you? Call the leader number right now, sir! You don't have to do that. I really appreciate you coming on such short notice. Make yourselves at home. Forgive the intrusion. I can't believe you're letting them back into our home! Listen, Dad. If you keep insisting on being rude to my new friends, Mom is going to hear about everything. So how is Yahiko? Well, he's definitely got a lot of energy. Fire, <laughs> <laughs> will you help me, please? I got stuck back here somehow! Jesus. It is pretty common for Yokai to grow when they're feeling upset about something. I wasn't upset! I had just eaten some rock cod and then laid down in the sun to take a nice long nap, and when I woke up I was gigantic! Now I can't get back to normal! Did you do anything else before your nap? Like what? 
scavenge for food? You take that back! I had broccoli and some potatoes! And I did not scavenge for them, thank you very much! What potatoes? The potatoes that I snitched earlier. You think that sounds better? It's a whole lot worse if you ask me! Ooh. Yahiko, are these the potatoes you were talking about? I almost didn't see Fuzzy there. It's kind of like he's semi-transparent. You can't see him as well as us? Well, I can see Yahiko very clearly. But Fuzzy's fuzzy. They smell like the same ones to me! Apparently, my dad ate some of these for lunch as well. But he's his usual self. Whoa. Honestly, I think the smell would kill my appetite. Oh! Damn this! <laughs> These are the worst things I've ever smelled in my life! It's not that bad to me. Oh, I love the smell! Can I have another one? No, you can't. Ugh. Hey, Horowitzki. I guess I didn't notice before. But they smell... kinda like yokai to me. It's from the dirt on the potatoes. My mom grew them herself on a nearby farm that she shares with one of our parishioners. Yeah? Then we should probably go there and check things out for ourselves, don't you think? That's fine. Just close the damn bag already, would you? I don't like the idea of you going anywhere with these guys. I'm serious, young lady. Do you hear me? Of course I can hear you. And we're going to the farm. You know, I get a real strong feeling that your dad actually hates us. Well, it would certainly be a stretch to say he likes us. I'm really sorry about all of this. Huh? For bothering you with whatever's going on with Yahiko. And for my dad being a total jerk to you. Look, we understand. Your dad's just worried about you like any regular dad would be. And it's only because he truly loves you. So, let's go. You're not bothering us. We want to help you out with Yahiko. He's right. And I'm sorry that Yahiko is causing you trouble. Taking care of it is my responsibility. We are all the same age, right? Or are you really an adult? Well, I'm more of an adult than you. Oh yeah, you think I'm like a five-year-old. I just act my I'm age I'm glad they're old. here. Really? Is that so? That's enough. Okay. Uh, I just hope that Dad eventually starts warming up to them someday. So, this is your mom's farm? Mm-hmm. That's so stinky. Can any of the neighbors put up with the stench? We're probably the only ones who see or smell it like this. Just us? <laughs> the treats! Yep, I sense a yokai in there. Then let's go in and find it. <laughs> you think your nose will be able to handle it? I'm cool. I'll just hold my breath. That's not a workable strategy. It doesn't seem to bother me as much. So I guess that means it's all up to me to take care of this one. Not gonna happen. What's Fuzzy doing? Fuzzy. <laughs> Fuzzy! You're getting mud all over your beautiful fur! <laughs> covered in it! This means I'll have to bathe you later. And that's not the only thing. Uh, uh, I think he's getting bigger. Uh, <laughs> how did he get so heavy? He'll crush me! Looks like it's a fairly safe assumption that the mud is what made Yahiko get so big, too. How can we make him cuddle-sized again? Will you please wait around here with the hairball? Mm-hmm. All right, Ashia, let's go. Okay. <laughs> it stinks! So bad! Cut it out! The stench is just so much worse than it was out there! <laughs> the stench was enough. Now I have the most annoying soundtrack to go with it. Do you hear that? like that you got the wrong idea anyway that's not a rock it's a potato potatoes again we are on a potato farm you know well, well it, it still doesn't, doesn't make sense. sense oh dear it seems i've been scolded but that's quite all right 
It's been so long since I've spoken a word to anybody. It's my very first time to speak with a human. Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Nobu, at your service. And who might you gentlemen be? My name's Abano, from the Mononokian. I'm his assistant, Ashia. Ah, the Mononokian? So the rumors are true? Rumors? That you're the yokai kidnappers. You entice yokai over and over again and drag them to the underworld. Not exactly. We exercise yokai. But... You're not entirely wrong. It depends on your perspective. So you are kidnappers! We have never kidnapped anybody! I hope they're okay in there. I see! You just call it something else, but it's basically kidnapping! No, it's not anything like that at all! I don't care what you call it! I'll go to the underworld as long as you get me out of this place I'm happy! I've been stuck here as long as I can remember! No matter what I try, I can't seem to escape! I'd do anything if I could just leave! Oh dear! Oh! Hey! Nobu, do you know what the deal is with this mud? I don't know the reason why, but it just started welling up from the ground one day without any warning. When I try to walk through it, I grow more and more depressed and despondent, and I lose every bit of energy I have in me. Eventually, I'm too tired to even move. No, no. I become completely enveloped in smoke, and I'm trapped in a waking nightmare, a phantasmagoria. Next thing I find myself back here. You have visions? In order to stop seeing such things, I tried to erase my memory by hitting myself with the head. That's what you were doing with the potato? I've tried practically everything by this point, and I've given up all hope of escape. But if you send me to the underworld, I will finally have the freedom that I've been so desperately longing for. Come, Mononokian, send me to the underworld as quickly as you can! I can't right now. I'm sorry. Oh dear. It's happening again! We've got to do something! The smell is killing me. I can't stay focused enough to open up a portal. <coughs> so, our first priority is getting you out of this field to somewhere that I can actually think a little more clearly. But I told you what happens when I walk through the mud! Yes, I remember. Eva! <laughs> you should be fine if you're not actually touching it. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> Thank you! doesn't make any kind of sense to me. I was already having trouble with the horrible smell. And now the smoke has gotten so dense I can't see my hand in front of my face. Are we lost? I was using the hairball's presence to navigate, but I can't pick it up anymore. <sighs> Don't tell me we're stuck in here now, too! There's no other choice. All right, Nobu. Looks like I'm gonna have to try to exercise you here. I don't know! The whole thing is making me really nervous! Can you summon a portal? I mean, the smell is even more pungent right here. And it would probably be easier if we were somewhere with less smoke, don't you think? What I really think? Uh-huh. Is you should shut up for at least 30 seconds. Okay, sorry. 30 seconds. <laughs> it's gonna kill me for that. Scarecrow? <laughs> Where am I? Did you see how hard I was working, old chum? I am in rare form today! Nobu! Uh, did I accidentally let go of you? Sorry about that. <laughs> you can tell me you're impressed. I can handle the compliment. Hold on. Huh? Yes, I even surprised myself! Thank you very this much! Is the you know, Goria he was talking about? A guy like you can go a long way! And you're such a good friend! Hey, Always Nobu! Can you even hear me right, right now? On my mind. Uh, we make a great team, don't we? Ready to protect the rice from scavengers and invaders! What came next happened in the blink of an eye. I wanted to carry my friend away from the flames where he'd be safe. But I was overwhelmed by the heat and utterly frozen by my fear. Every time I revisit this memory, this waking nightmare, it's like I'm right back in the middle of the fire once again. It's as if my old friend is keeping me from leaving this place. I imagine it's because he resents me for my inability to save him that day. No, bro. He 
he's enormous now. I foolishly believed that with your help, I would finally be able to escape this place. That I would stop reliving my horrible failure over and over again. But my friend put a curse on me. He couldn't forgive my lack of action. I just stood there while he burned. So he's bound me here for all eternity. You're wrong. You were trying to save him the only way you could. It's not your fault he didn't make it. That's kind of you. But I failed him. Well, I think it was your fault. Uh, wait, do you mean that? Definitely. I apologize, Nobu. But due to the state that you're in right now, I'm afraid I can't exercise you. Oh, I see. I suppose this is my fate. Abino, you saw what happened that day, didn't you? Yes, I did. Then could you bother telling us what exactly Nobu did wrong? I mean, he was in the worst situation possible. What could he have done differently? Ow! Ashia, what if it had been you instead? <sighs> if you had been in Nobu's place that day, scared, unable to help your friend, do you think you could claim you weren't responsible? <sighs> Listen up, Nobu. It's not your old friend that's binding you here. If you want my take on it, you're doing this yourself. I am? What do you mean? Don't you think it's possible that you subconsciously created all this mud and smoke to keep yourself here? You made it so you could never run away, so you couldn't leave anybody behind again. Oh dear, this is embarrassing. What's happening to me? Am I really crying? That's why I can't exercise you. Because you don't really want to leave. But you can't stay here anymore. So you have to make a decision. Do you understand? You have to discover the resolve inside yourself. If I do that, you think I can leave? All right, man. It's time we got back to Zenko and the hairball. What about him? He's gonna have to stay here until he can leave on his own. <laughs> Don't you understand that he's not able to do that? That's the reason why he needed our help in the first place. If you can't walk, drag yourself. <sighs> Just keep moving through all of this smoke. Don't give up. It's the only way out of here. Uh, it's a text from Zinko asking if we're okay. She's worried. Tell her we're on our way back. Yeah, okay. Nobu, take all the time you need. We'll be waiting for you. But if the mud and smoke overtake me again, it could take quite a long time to get to the edge of the field. We'll wait. Don't worry. I promise I won't abandon you. Come on, Ashia. You're leaving. Before you go, you realize you could be waiting forever, that I may never make it out. Yet... You're still willing to wait for me? We are. Hope you seeing ya. <coughs> so stinky. My friend, I shackled myself here with all this mud and smoke because I foolishly believed that by remaining in that day, I could somehow atone for what I did. However, the time has come for me to leave, my friend. And once I'm gone, I can never return. I can't give up. I must keep moving forward. They are waiting for me. I don't want them to wait forever. These will be the last words I speak to you, old friend. Therefore, I must tell you what's been weighing on my conscience for far too long. <gasps> my dear friend, if I had been more strong of heart, if I had endured the flames a bit longer, if I had pulled a bit harder, so many things I could have done differently. Maybe I could have been able to save you that day, but I did what I did, and I lost you. 
I ran away. And though I've regretted my actions these many years, that is what led me to them. For the first time, I'm happy that I chose to run. Because I feel this way, I don't think I can truly claim that I am your friend. How can I be glad about leaving you behind? But know this, before tragedy struck our field and destroyed all that we had known, I spent the happiest days of my life working in the hot sun alongside you. There is no joy that could ever compare to it. You gave me a gift for which I am eternally grateful. Thank you for being there. Thank you for listening. Thank you for understanding. still hasn't made it out of the farm. Is Abino asleep? He doesn't want us to talk to him so he can focus. Focus? On what? On summoning a portal to the underworld. The smell's been getting in the way. A portal to the underworld? Do you think you should head home soon? I bet your dad's worried sick. No, it's okay. He's gonna be super mad at me, but I don't care. I'll wait here with you.
So then, you've made up your mind? Yes. Very well. I shall go to the Mononokian at once. Thank you so much. I only wish I could go myself. It's been given me to understand the Mononokian has a new employee. I look forward to having a face to go along with the rumor. Do be careful on your way. Hmm? An unmistakable smell. Hmm? Rain is coming. Count on it. I certainly know better than to doubt your nose. Uh... <sighs> uh, Buzzy! I'm so glad you're back to normal! I didn't know what Does I was doing. Does he always do. cry when he's happy? Uh, get a hold of yourself. Have some self-respect. I can't help if I get emotional. Just let me express myself! If Buzzy's back to normal, then it must be the same for Yahiko. <laughs> Dad. This isn't good. Yeah, so, uh... You kids have any idea how late it is? <laughs> what are you doing in a place like this? If it's abandoned, there's probably a damn good reason. He is pissed. What do we say? I don't know. Uh, 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 hold on to Buzzy for a second. What's wrong? I threw out my back! Fun's over, Yahiko. No fair! You saw where I was! How the... Are you doing this to my dad? Hey, Harlitsky! I can shapeshift! I'm back to my old self! We can play hide and seek again! Uh, oh, that's right. You were super gigantic earlier. I forgot. What?! You're such a jerk, Ashia! Yeah, yeah, my bad. Hey, let's get you off of no! there. No! Excuse me? I don't think so. If you want me to force you, have it your way. I want always you to carry me! Let's Quit squirming! You're being a brat! You're a brat! Who the hell are you talking to? Uh, crap. Help me out here? No way. You don't know how to do it right! My bad has gone. What the... Uh, oh, you see, sir, I'm kind of an introvert, so I talk to myself a lot. That's it. Sure. I, I was just thinking out loud, you know? Sorry. When I couldn't stop laughing, this kid Nothing showed up out of the that. blue and fixed it. It's something I do all the time. Straight answer. Did you just heal my back? What? How are you with high blood pressure? Can you cure that too? You might want to see a doctor about that one. Aha! So you did fix my back. I knew it. We should probably step in and help him at some point. Don't try to What do I do? If I tell him it was a yokai, I'll think I'm screwing with him. Dad, leave him alone. Huh? Han, I can see spirits. <laughs> There was a ghost on your back. He saw it and figured he'd take care of it for you. A ghost? Uh, no kidding? You saw it on my back? What, what was it doing there in the first place? Oh, I, uh, I don't know, but it was there. <laughs> Dad can't see spirits, but he's a total believer. Mom used to say the idea scared him to death. Poor guy can't even sit through a horror movie. Makes you wonder why he became a monk. That's it. Come and work for me at the temple. What? Folks come in off the street requesting exorcisms all the time. I need you. Actually, Sarah. Hey, Abino. You can hear him, can't you? Yep. Come on, Ashia, please. It's Ashia. Zenko, did something good happen? What's going on? Seems kind of weird, don't you think? Mm-hmm. It's a little weird. But it is pretty good. Dad doesn't want to kill Hanai. In fact, he's practically gushing over him. Anyway, what the hell were you doing with Zenko? Not what it looks like. Is he? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Uh-oh. Hmm. We should get going. And Yahiko, I'm not playing with you. Aww. Doesn't look like it's gonna let up anytime soon. At least we got back before it started pouring. Lucky us. That old man didn't want to let you leave. Don't put that on me. I didn't know it was supposed to rain. Incidentally, I didn't bring an umbrella. Could the Mononokian give me a lift? A little steep, don't you think? <laughs> a guest? No one made an appointment today. Be right there. Welcome. Hello. Rather a lot this evening in the mundane world, isn't it? It's Okina. 
Boss, do we have any towels? Maybe some hot tea? <sighs> Sorry to drop in like this. It's fine. And apologies for being so drenched. I fell into a puddle on the way here. <laughs> the skies won't clear for a few hours, I'm told. You don't say. Excuse me, young sir, but are you the new employee? Oh, yes. My name's Ashia. Nice to meet you. My name is Inogarataki Yuhitaki no Okinakami. Wait, Kami? Are you a god? <laughs> Gracious, no, just an old yokai. Humans tend to inflate my status. Call me Okina, please. So, have you always lived in the mundane world? <laughs> well, I'm fond enough of it that I selfishly requested to stay. Which brings me to the purpose of my unannounced visit this evening, Abano. A yokai in need of your help is waiting for us near the shrine. I assume there's a reason you didn't bring them? Why'd you leave them behind? I'm afraid the poor dear doesn't have the use of her eyes. Wow. I don't understand. What exactly are you getting at? Sight comes to her only through vision of human beings able to see yokai. On loan, so to speak. She needs to borrow the sight of someone like you. Ho <laughs> ho ho! It sounds a lot graver than it is. She's not asking much, just to be exercised and sent to the underworld. Forgive my indiscretion. Besides, it's not a painful process. The person who grants the vision to her has it back in a matter of days. Very well. I humbly accept your request. We'd be grateful if you wait until after the sky's clear. For the time being, might I impose on you for another cup of tea? It would be my pleasure. Stay as long as you wish. <laughs> How kind. I believe I'll make myself at home then. Thank you. What's that I hear? Footsteps. Okina. He brings two others. Thank you for waiting. You must be Master Abano of the Mononokian. Indeed I am, and you must be Tomori, am I right? Yes. I appreciate your assistance more than you could know. Happy to be of help. Am I mistaken, or did I hear another set of footsteps? That would be his employee, Ashia. Yes, of course. Good to meet you. It's good to meet you too, ma'am. I'm grateful the two of you could come. Excuse me if I cut right to the chase, but I'm afraid this area is not quite big enough for me to open a portal. Would it be possible for us to take this business somewhere else, perhaps? If need be. Here, I'll help lead you. <gasps> a human? <sighs> You're gifted with the ability to see yokai. It's been ages. I can't remember the last time I encountered one of you here in the mundane world. Uh, um, do you mind if I ask how long you've been without sight? I don't know. Quite some time, surely. I'm embarrassed to admit it's been so long I can't remember. Yet, I remember all the things I've seen in the mundane world. Its beauty is unsurpassed. I could exist for millennia and not forget. If only I could stay here. Alas, it's become too difficult. Shame, but I must go back. I hope returning to the underworld will restore my sight. I miss being able to take everything in. Ah, uh, uh, I get it. Uh, why is he glaring at me? Uh, Tomori? Sorry to keep getting all personal, but don't hold back on me, okay? Would you like to see the mundane world again before you leave? <gasps> you misunderstood. That wasn't what I was trying to imply in the least. I'm sorry. Please don't worry about me. No, it's fine. You don't have to be sorry. I just knew if I didn't put it out there, I'd kick myself for not asking. Kick yourself? I thought maybe you really wanted to see this world again before you go and just couldn't ask. I had to be sure, you know? I'd have regretted not offering. Besides, and I don't mean this to sound patronizing or anything, but I thought if all it cost me was not seeing yokai for a few days, well, it's not too big a deal. Right? <sighs> he didn't shoot it down. That's a good sign. <sighs> to be completely honest, 
I would love to look upon this world one last time before I go. If you would be so kind, may I borrow your sight? Ashia, close your eyes for me. Sure. they go? Oh, that's right. That was the condition, wasn't it? What about her? Can Tomori see the world? Yes. You should go home. What? But... If you can't see Yokai, you'll only get in my way. You don't have to say it like that. I'm doing my job. What would you have done without Watch your... Watch where you step. <sighs> I'm sorry, Fuzzy. When you can see Yokai again, I'll put you back to work. Till then, go home. Fine. I'll get out of your hair. <sighs> Tomori, can you see? Yes! The sky, the clouds. The flowers, all of it's so breathtaking. I'm overwhelmed. Please, Abano, uh, give Ashia my heartfelt thanks. I'm so very grateful. Tell him I departed for the underworld free of regrets, won't you? Yes. I'm home. How was your day, sweetie? What's wrong? Nothing. Hmm. Okay. He looks like he lost his best friend. It's rough not being able to see Fuzzy in the Mononokian. Oh well, it's only for a few days. I'll power through. Purple coneflowers. Aren't they gorgeous? They say I will heal your pain. What are you talking about, Mom? I'm not in any kind of pain. You do seem a bit better. <laughs> Best be going. See you later. <laughs> Have fun at school. That's a relief. It's finally been three days. Man, talk about feeling like forever. Woohoo! Can't wait to cuddle with Fuzzy. Seriously? I don't think you've ever gotten here earlier than me. I'm surprised you're awake. So, it's been three days, which means my second sight should be back to normal. <sighs> yeah, well, it's not. Uh, what is that supposed to mean? Is Fuzzy here? Yes, he just jumped on you. Where is he? I can't see him. Why can't I see him? Guess it's gonna take longer than we thought. Fuzzy, I'm sorry. Two days later. You're left! Nice try, but he's sitting smack dab on top of your head. He was supposed to be in your hands! No fair, you tricked me! You wouldn't have fallen for it if you could actually see him. We're done for the day, so go home. I don't understand. It's been five whole days now. Why can't I see him yet? Okina and Tomori didn't seem the type to pull one over on me. So you can't see him and you can't hear him. That's great. Hear them? Nothing. Don't worry about it. What am I gonna do? This sucks. How much longer do I have to wait till I can see Fuzzy again? Damn! There has to be some way to restore my sight. Ashia. Yeah? That's enough. What do you mean? It's time for you to quit. 
Look, I'm willing to keep you on until I can find your replacement. It's just... I don't have anything you can help with right now. Guys in my position can't afford to get sentimental or complacent. Truth is, I'm bad enough tolerating people who are useful to me, let alone dead weight. Am I really useless? It's been five days. That's all. That's all, Freddy. He's... So you're letting me go, is that it? I get it, okay. I can't see, okay. I don't blame you for wanting to find someone else. There's not much I can do for you like this. Still, though, dead weight. Where the hell do you get off? I didn't come to you looking for a job. I came to you for help. Next thing I know, boom. Suddenly I have to work off a massive debt or else. Being able to see Yokai terrified me at first, but I've changed. When my ability returns, we'll pick up where we left off. That's a promise. Before this is all over, you'll be on your hands and knees begging me to come back. <laughs> You're gonna have to work really hard to make that happen. Wouldn't hold my breath if I were you. <sighs> what happened to your face? Stupid ox, you hit me with his shoe! I hate him! He's a meanie! That doesn't sound like him. So what did you end up buying? Lemon drops and a croquette. And some coffee. Oh man, I should have gotten a croquette. What's up? You're not gonna get anything? No appetite. You seem a little tired. Do you need to pick me up? How about some coffee? Here, uh, take mine. That's so nice of you. Thanks a lot. You should take a look at this. Oh yeah? Uh, wanted ads? Figured you could use it to find yourself a job. But I haven't been fired from my old one. Not yet. Let's face it, man. It's only a matter of time. Well, that all depends on me. Why get a job when you could join a club? Hmm? What kind of club? Photography's been really cool. In fact, before I started high school, up? that's exactly yeah, the sort of thing awesome. I saw myself doing. Then Avino started eating up all my free time. I'm thinking nature stuff. Sweet. Now, though, happens, I know the what's stopping me? Really? Let's do it! Solving for a system of linear inequalities requires finding values for each of the variables, such that all equations Did Abino are take the day off? Maybe he's on a job. Good for him. Not that I care one way or the other. Please. Who am I kidding? This is torture. Feels like I've been left out in the cold. I'm not ready to let go yet. Why wouldn't I be? You're right. I'm off. Hey. Hey there! Cora, come look! He's here! It's Itsuki! Ah, oh, darling. You're back sooner than expected. Don't worry. We took care to whip up some extras so there won't be a repeat of last time. Appreciate it. That's right, I haven't told you. The screeching yokai's doing better. That's good to hear. I think he really misses you and Ashia. Ah, speaking of Ashia, why isn't he with you today? Oh yeah, you know, I was just thinking it seemed a little on the quiet side. Afraid I had to leave him behind. That's too bad, is he feeling okay? I wanted to say hi. Yes, quite a shame. Such a lovely pair of ears that boy has. Well, not as lovely as mine, but they're all right. Hey, Shizuku. What's up? Is your brother around? Not here. He's over at Newt Lake. Business with the legislator? Nah, I just thought I'd drop by and say hello. Kind of curious to see what he's up to these days. Uh... Good seeing you, ladies. Aw, you're leaving already? Sorry, wish I could stay. We'll visit longer next time, I promise. Of course. Pleasure as always. Darken our door whenever you wish. And bring dear Ashia along, won't you? Hard to believe he's going to see the legislator of his own free will. 
Huh, very odd, very odd indeed. It's been a while, or has it? It's been a while. Or has it? Rather hard to believe you came here without being summoned. This must be extremely important. It's just some housekeeping. I thought you should know that I released my employee. As the master, you are free to terminate whomever. Just the same as when you made the choice to hire the boy. But you were upset that I'd hired him without informing you before. So I'm keeping you in the loop. After all, isn't that what I should be doing? Should be doing? Hmm. Huh. Aw. Come now. It's not as though you're especially known for your adherence to protocol. Sorry for bothering you. Can't I hear the rest of the story? There has to be more to it. At the very least, the reason he was let go. He's lost his ability to see yokai. So say the rumors. Yes. And that's all? That's reason enough for me. If he can't see or hear them, he can't effectively help the Mononoke and complete the jobs we take. We need someone who can. Yes, but I've also heard that he temporarily lent his sight to a yokai who is in need. So your decision to fire him seems a bit rash, in my opinion. What was supposed to last a few days has turned into a week now. The work coming in hasn't slowed down since that happened. I simply don't have the time to wait. As long as it's not an official rule, I'm not going to fire him. Does that sound at all familiar? If I recall, you said that last time we spoke face to face. The situation has changed. Iski, do you regret your decision? Huh? Do you regret hiring him? <laughs> now you can put all those doubts to rest. Is that not what you were thinking? Not exactly. He's too emotionally invested in Yokai, and it got in the way of his duties. I know from experience the mistakes that can lead to. So I took action before things got worse. So it's in his best interest if he doesn't regain the ability to perceive Yokai. Uh, I understand why you would relate the struggle he's going through to your own. You don't want him to have to endure the hardships you've gone through. Uh, I honestly had no idea you cared for your employee so deeply. Uh, uh... Cut it out. I agree that you have every right to let him go. But have you even considered the argument that he has every right to stay? Uh, how did he take it? Did he accept your choice without argument? Or did he fight back? Doesn't matter if he accepts it. I'm the master and I did what I had to do. I have to ask, does Ashia come from a large family? Huh? All he's really said about them is his mom runs a flower shop and that his sister stays out partying all night. And his father? Actually, no mention of him. Are you trying to make a point? I just find it interesting that he's a human named Ashia who happens to possess the ability to see yokai. Did that have nothing to do with his hiring? Maybe you should exercise a little patience with him. Well, he doesn't have the ability anymore, and that gets in the way of exercising yokai. It is my decision as the master. Hello? Brother. Greetings, Shizuku. Are you calling to tell me you're coming home? No, I was trying to get hold of Iski. Is he still there? Uh, he is. Want to speak with him? He didn't come to school again today. Is he dealing with a difficult job? Maybe with a really scary yokai. <laughs> Whoa, calm down. Uh, sorry. So, did you remember to bring your camera? Yeah, of course. I found an old one we had at home. That should do the trick. Are you going to join the photography club? I don't know, but I'm going to check it out at least. Oh, cool. Mm-hmm.
I'm glad to see you're getting into it. <laughs> yeah, I guess I am. You've got a natural eye for framing, man. I think you should take some more pictures on the way home and see if you find something you've never noticed before. I've only taken souvenir pictures, but I'm really starting to like photography. Wish I could get some pics of yokai. startled me. So what's the deal with the camera? Photography club? I wasn't really thinking about it, but I could totally see myself joining. Why? Did you quit your job? I didn't exactly quit. Abano fired me. Because you can't see any yokai anymore? Uh, I see. Yahiko told you about it. Mm-hmm. And I thought of something you could try. Well, what's your idea? I used to not be able to see them. But I could after Yahiko bit me. So there's no reason why that wouldn't work for you, right? Uh, that's a great idea. Yeah, let's go back to your place right now and try it out. Uh, it's just me. I'm starting to rethink this idea. Coming home with Zenko means I have to see her dad. Zenko, you're awfully late coming home. He was waiting on her? It's you. Ah, sorry, I have a perfectly good reason for being here, sir. I'm glad to see you again. Come in, make yourself at home. Uh, sir, I'm awfully sorry for coming to your home so late. I was late. just thinking about asking Zenko to invite you over. Oh, you were? I was. I have been considering accepting exorcism requests at the temple. This is no mere coincidence, you just showing up when I had that idea. It's because you're psychic, aren't you? Ha! Huh. And it seems you read my mind. I didn't! I can't read anyone's mind! Now, I haven't gotten any requests yet, but when I do, you'll be the first one to know, Ashida. It's Ashia, sir. And it wouldn't do you any good to count on me. Oh, right. See? I even had some postcards made so I could start spreading the word about it. Parishioners troubled by hauntings, curses, and all other manner of supernatural phenomena. We are now open for consultations. This temple is partnered with a talented psychic. Ah! Sorry, but you've got the wrong idea about me! I'm telling you, I am not a psychic! I see yokai! Uh... Actually, I guess I should say I used to see yokai. Don't you worry. I promise I'll pay you a decent wage for it. Yeah, that's not the problem here! My point Dad. is... <sighs> I'm safe from this living hell. Although it's kind of strange to say that about a priest. That's enough. Hanai came over here because we have something to talk about. And what do you two have to discuss? <laughs> a priest from hell! Come on, let's go. Uh, hey, uh, hold on, Masuda! Uh, you better not get any weird ideas about my daughter! Her name's Ashia. Speaking of weird, that wasn't even close. If you don't stop being rude to my friends, I'm gonna tell Mom about it. What? No! I'm just worried about my little baby girl is all! Don't worry, and I'm not a baby. Just try to relax. She's right. There's nothing to worry about. If someone hires us for an exorcism, I'll have him come back over to help. You will? Uh... Okay, go ahead and put out your arm. Is Yahiko around or something? Mm-hmm. He's right behind me. Why do I have to help this jerk? I haven't forgiven him for hitting me with his shoe. Just bite him, would you? I'll give you more candy if you do. <sighs> okay, ten pieces of Rakugan. It's a deal. All right then, that works for me. <sighs> well, there you go. The bite. Did it work? Thanks for trying. I'm sorry. I thought that would do it. Hey! Itsuki! Something wrong? I was afraid you left already! I was just on my way out. What's up? What do you need from me? 
There's someone at the shop. He's asking to meet with you. Why would somebody be asking for me at Kyakudo? You'll understand when you see him. <laughs> Lovely. Hello, Abino. What a nice surprise. I wanted to thank you again for your help. I hope that you're feeling better. Kiki, thanks to you and these lovely creatures, my pain has nearly subsided. We're more than happy to help. That is why we're here. Kiki, yes, I'll tell him. The little ones want to say thanks as well. Yes, of course. Did Ashia not come here with you today? No. Kikiki, now isn't that a shame? We wanted to express our true appreciation and gratitude to both of you for all that you've done. If it weren't for your help, well, I wouldn't be here with my children. I owe the both of you my life. No, it was actually Ashia who saved you. I don't deserve the credit. <laughs> I'm so happy that we could catch you in time. Big Boss came here right after you left the shop. So he called me Big Brother as soon as I could. Kiki, and thank you for that, miss. Not a problem, sir. You're a regular after all. You're so sweet. Feel free to take the rest of the day off. Seriously? You have been working a lot of overtime lately, and the legislator will be glad to see you. Thank you! I'll see you later, Itsuki. Yeah, see ya. Hopefully you can bring Ashia along with you next time. I'll think about it. <laughs> well, Itsuki? What? It's just my intuition, but something happened with Ashia, yes? Huh? You can't hide it. Your face gives it all away. <clears throat> I'm joking. Now I see. So that's why you sent Shizuku home all of a sudden, isn't it? Considering that she doesn't even know both you boys are human, I thought it best to discuss this without her. I honestly wasn't trying to hide this from you, but... He can't see Yokai anymore? Kiki, isn't there some kind of pill he can take? Unfortunately, human medicine is well beyond my area of expertise. I may be wrong, but he couldn't always see Yokai, correct? He only gained the ability to see them after the hairball possessed him. But you're right, before that, he couldn't see them at all. So there was something that triggered it. Kiki, why don't you look for this Tomori and find out what she has to say? That is an excellent idea, but since she's new to the underworld, she may be hard to find. The legislator may be able to find her, but he's always so busy, I'd hate to bother him. There's no need to go that far with it. <sighs> Ashi is no longer my employee. That means he has nothing to do with the Mononokian or Yokai. Kiki. Then I'll go and look for Tomori myself. Uh, I've got the little ones with me. Splitting up will make it easier. You don't have to. Kiki, just don't expect a miracle from us, okay? I can't ask you all to go out of your way just to help me. Like I said, he doesn't even work for me anymore. Uh, it's key. You should accept their help. It's very clear that they'd be happy to do it. Then I accept your offer. <laughs> Kikiki, Abino, please wait here until we return. I would hate to miss you again. <laughs> it warms my heart to see they love Ashia too. I'm extremely fond of him myself. He's just so adorable. Know her? She was exorcised by the Mononokian a little over a week ago. The Mononokian sent her? Kiki, is that so? Yes, indeed. I know her quite well, in fact. We are both recent transplants from the mundane world, you see, so we had a lot of things to talk about. I can introduce you to her if you'd like. What is it exactly that you want from her? Standing there brooding won't help, you know. 
So what's troubling you? My job is to help Yokai. Me asking for their help is just pathetic. I'm sorry, love, but you're wrong. Although that is your basic job description, they specifically asked to help because of what you and Ashia did for them, right? But I've already fired Ashia, so even if we do find Tomari... Come now. Surely you'll agree that this is an incredible situation? Yokai helping a human? Oh. Does all that screeching mean they were able to locate her, or that they weren't? How would I know? Kiki, calm down, little ones. Good news, Abino. Kiki, we have found Tomori. Good to see you again. Nobu, they explained the situation with Ashia to me. After hearing of his troubles, I couldn't just stand idly by and not do everything in my power to help. Hey, I heard that Ashia is in some kind of trouble. There's a rumor going around that he can't see us anymore. Is that really true? Yes, that is true. That's horrible news. Because if he hadn't seen me in the first place, I may never have been able to fly with my dear princess again. <laughs> hey, princess! What is all this? I recall that I'd said Ashia was dangerous. Oh, Miss Chigara? Upon further reflection, I realize now that my fears were completely baseless. In fact, we've all come together due to our shared concern and admiration for him. You see? He may be a human, but he's beloved by Yokai. Sounds like someone else I know. I'm going to talk to Tomori. Hello? Who is that? I'm sorry for dropping by unannounced like this, Tomori. Really? Afraid so. Ashia still hasn't regained his ability. So if you don't mind, I wanted to hear some of your thoughts on this. In the past, those who had lent me their vision had theirs restored in no more than two or three days. Yes, that's exactly what Okina told me. If I knew this would happen, I would have never accepted Ashia's generous offer in the first place. But I wonder. Yes, what is it? There may be another factor in play. Some reason why it's taking so long for him in particular. Oh yeah? What? I can sense in him some extremely powerful feelings regarding we yokai as a whole. And because his willingness to help me was so strong, it's very possible that he's still subconsciously holding on to that feeling. That he's still willing his vision away somehow. That does seem likely. However, I'm beginning to fear that if Ashia's condition persists for much longer, it may mean that he will permanently lose his ability to see or hear yokai. <sighs> I'm very worried about that, in fact. So am I. Ashia wasn't able to perceive Yokai until fairly recently. So maybe he'll lose it just as quickly. It just breaks my heart, and I can't help but feel responsible for this situation. I didn't consider any long-lasting results it may have. If it were possible, I would gladly give him my own eyes in the hopes it could make up for my selfishness, truly. It's not your fault. You don't have to carry this kind of guilt on your back. I feel so bad. I had the power to stop him, but I chose not to. But still... Please try not to worry. I will do my best to make things right, help him see again, and restore your peace of mind. Besides, it seems the Mononokian still needs him. Well, I told her I'd do it. So I gotta figure out how. Mononokian, come. Something in his subconscious. <laughs> Hate to do this, Ashia. I'm not ready to head back just yet. 
Sorry for coming over so late. Mm. So has Abino been back to school? No, he must be on a pretty serious job. <laughs> but I guess that's none of my business, you know? There has to be some kind of way you can see again. Who knows, it may just come back tomorrow. Mm, maybe. Thanks, Zenko. Good night. Why didn't you tell him? Hush. Come on, it's not like he can hear me anyway. I mean, he doesn't even know Fuzzy is with him. to have misled the young man. I'm certain she told the truth. Don't concern yourself too much. Things are bound to work out. Haru Itsuki knows. He went all the way to the underworld to ask her in person. Shut up. I just happened to be there, okay? May I ask what Tomori said? <gasps> just what I already suspected. The time frame varies somewhat from person to person. If it takes a while, though, there might be another underlying cause. She's a little worried for him. If Ashia goes much longer not being able to see Yokai, he may never get his second sight back. Any notion of what the underlying cause could be? Kind of. More of an educated guess, really. Ah, I thought as much. Certainly explains how lively things have been around the shrine, huh? If you'll excuse me, Okina, I should go. Yes, of course. And don't worry. As you say, it's bound to work out. I hope so. I'm not sure what I'll do otherwise. Yahiko, ready? Sure, this should be fun. Wouldn't hurt if he gave me a few extra treats for agreeing to help tomorrow. Fine, what do you have a taste for? Rockagon and dumplings, oh, and steam buns, and um, potato chips. Oh, and you know what else would be yummy? Six well, we can use the following formula. First, let's solve for X. He's out again. Ashia? Should I be worried? Ashia! Yes, sir? I'd appreciate it if you paid attention. Sorry, I just spaced out. Do you need to go to the nurse's office? Uh, no, sir. I'm perfectly fine. Uh-oh, the kid from the nurse's office is back. <laughs> All right, people, that's enough. Settle down. Our club's out today, so we're stopping by the convenience store. You got anything going on? I can come. I'm getting myself a croquette. Now that you mention it, I think I'm going to grab myself one, too. Hey there, Zenko. How's it going? Hanai. Uh, can you talk for a second? Sorry. You guys go on ahead. Sure. Yahiko? Yeah, he just took off. He said Abano needed his help on a job yesterday, and I haven't seen or heard from him since. Is he trying to be the new assistant? Dunno. But to be honest, it isn't all that unusual for him to disappear for a couple of days now and then. I hope Fuzzy's okay. It's just... He and Yahiko aren't exactly best pals. Fuzzy's scared of it. Anyway, no point fretting about it, right? Not much I can do. <laughs> what is it? Nothing. You still can't see him, can you? It's been so long, I'm wondering if I ever will. I hate to say it, but maybe it's time to give up. Oh, that's right. Before he left, Yahiko said something about he and Abano going to the mountain shrine. He did, huh? What for? Get a grip. No use dwelling on what you can't do. Move on. Forget about it. Uh -huh. Nice try. Why'd I come here? Way to take my own advice. to forget all I want. It's not like turning off a light. I need time. Uh, snap out of it and focus already. Uh, uh, I 
wonder, are Jomatsu and the princess okay? <sighs> Just my imagination. Kinda hard to shake the routine, I guess. I'm still hyper alert. Okay, time to hit the books. What could it be? The job they're on. Must be a big one if Yahi goes along. Ugh. What the heck is wrong with me? The more I try to push it out of my mind, the more I worry. Uh, am I crazy or did something just brush by? <laughs> Second sight, and not my mind. This is it. What did I expect to find? This is stupid. Coming here wasn't gonna change anything. Abino! Yahiko! I wouldn't know if he was here, would I? Hey, Abino! Hello? Come on, Ashia, get it together. You know they're okay. You're overthinking this. Why would they be in danger? After all, Habano is a pro. I'll have a look around just in case, but that's it. Whoa there! Is that a yokai? Is my sight back? Have I returned to normal or what? Am I ready to go back to work? Uh, this leaf, is it... Is that you, Okina? Hang on a minute. Did Abino come by here? He probably had a box with him. Uh, are they inside? Excuse me. Is anybody in there? Doesn't look like it. Okina, where'd you go? Uh, that's... I knew it looked familiar. I recognized the Mononokian's crest anywhere. Desensitized me. After a while, I let my guard down around Yokai. Now that I can't see them, it makes perfect sense Abino wouldn't want me around. He had to draw the line somewhere. This freaked out I'm a liability. Still, though, he could have been nicer about it. I'm on his side. I just. I just lashed out at being called dead weight. Look at me. What am I doing? I'm petrified. What if this thing's not even a yokai? There's no way to tell. Stop it. You're only making this worse. Pull yourself together. I mean it. You're useless enough without being scared. I can't see them. I can't hear them. But they're definitely here. What the? What was that? I think I can actually feel them staring at me. That's weird. It's not hostile, though. 
Except, how can I be sure? If I can't see them, how can I read their intentions? I don't know. I swear I feel kindness. As if they're all smiling. Princess Anmo? Again? I say wake him. Would you care to do the honors for us? I was already in the neighborhood and thought I'd come along for the ride. Uh, I had a gift to drop off the Mononokian. <laughs> you seem a lot better now. <laughs> Buzzy, I thought I'd never see you again. I missed you so much. And here you are. It took you long enough to acknowledge him. Wow, that was fun. Oh, oh, oh. You were just about to start bawling like a little baby. Wait, so you were the one holding the skull? It's not cool to scare people! Scaring you is what brought you back to normal, jerk! Oh, and you're welcome, by the way! What? I might have told him to lay it on a little thick. Um, alrighty then. Not to be rude, but what in the world is going on? Give me a break. You got your sight back. What does it matter? Don't get me wrong, I'm ecstatic. It's just, you know... I'm just curious what everyone's doing here. What's different? Why can I see them now? Explain it to me, please. Shut up. You're so annoying. <sighs> it's not rocket science, okay? Think back to what triggered your ability in the first place. Okay. The first yokai I saw was fuzzy. He was just lying on the sidewalk. Okay. And what was going through your head? I don't remember. No, wait. I was thinking about what high school would be like. Yeah, I figured it had to be something lame as hell. Hey, it wasn't lame. Look, thing is, the catalyst wasn't you, okay? It was you encountering Fuzzy. Fuzzy granted me second sight? Not quite, no. The way you reacted to him awoke a predisposition. Essentially, you two resonated. You mean, like, empathy? I knew I had to do something that would take you back, put you in a receptive state of mind. Didn't take much. Besides, I had help. These yokai all have a special place for you in their hearts. Each and every one of us stood by your side throughout this whole ordeal, praying for your vision to return. Wait, so everything these past few days... Happened for a reason. Even without second sight, you could tell they were there. Your weird devotion to them meant you only needed a jolt. You don't have to say it like that. If I'm weird, what are you? Sorry for all the trouble. Thank you very much. What are you waiting for? Say thanks. They came all the way from the underworld for you. Show some gratitude. Oh, you guys, I really owe you one. Kiki, ki, our pleasure. Yeah, whatever. See you around, kid. Definitely. Come pay us a visit in the underworld someday. Of course. The bonds of friendship we've forged here are eternal. Yeah, they are. You're right. Thank you. Thank you all. Of course. Though when all is said and done, we're not the ones you ought to be thanking. Avano, my friend, if you would be so kind. Sure. <laughs> well, that's it. We've sent them on their way. 
Wait a minute, I... Abino! Oh no, I'm pretty sure my vision went up a level. I can't just see yokai, I can see ghosts! What? I saw hands reach out and grab me through the wall. It nearly ripped my sweater! Oh, that. Another gig? What the... So yeah, your vision wasn't totally back yet. The hand you saw was mine. Ha! Ah! Well, it scared the crap out of me! I took it upon myself to call on Avenu here because you appeared to be looking for him. Forgive me for startling you. On that subject, why did you come here? Nobody asked you to. Well, you just... Um, you weren't in class, and I thought maybe... Look, I was worried, alright? I know what you're gonna say. Use your head. What good could you have done me? All the same, we're pleased your ability to see us has returned. Don't you agree, Abino? Yes. What if it awful to happen, especially after going to all the trouble of getting everyone from the underworld? Ah, shut up! Throw away that damn skull! <sighs> Why are we each eating what was Just do for? as I say. I want to show it to Zenko! You don't just bring a skull into a temple. Why not? I'll put it back afterwards. <sighs> Your idea! You even went to the underworld just to bring them all here! And you wanted me to think I was fired! Thanks a lot, Okina. <laughs> I'm really sorry. If I'd had any idea, I wouldn't have thrown my shoe at you. Hope it didn't clock you too hard. I'm the one you hit! Seriously? Uh-huh! Stupid thing got me right on the forehead! Uh, you were on the roof? My bad. The price of forgiveness is ten dumplings. Um, glazed or red bean? Better do both kinds. I'll take care of it. It really ought to be me. I'll go to the convenience store tomorrow. Ashia. Uh, yeah? <sighs> Sorry for being so rude to you through all this. Forgive me. If you would like to, I'd be happy to have you back on the job. Are you willing to come work for me again? I could use the help. <laughs> Why are you bowing? It's awkward! What? It's customary, you idiot. So? Uh-huh. Oh. Yes! Absolutely! Uh, I mean, I promise to do my absolute best! You won't now be it's awkward. <sighs> Don't do that, Fuzzy. Your absolute best, huh? Stop! What a terrifying prospect. Huh? Really? Fuzzy never left my side? Come rain or shine, I let him be, to avoid the separation anxiety. I'm sorry, I didn't see you, buddy. You must have been lonely. What you trying to say? <sighs> Don't use speech bubbles to be cute. I guess I'll play ball with you. Not a problem, little guy. Thanks for translating. Didn't know you could do that. Come on, let's go. Guessing? You're both yokai. It wasn't a shot in the dark. <sighs> All right, you ready? Heads up. <laughs> nice catch. You know, I used to not be tall enough to ring this bell. I was determined to make it ring, though. I had Aoi lift me up so I could reach. Must make you uneasy the master's human now. Especially since my assistant is too, right? <sighs> it's hard for people and yokai to coexist. A lot of variables have to be in perfect balance. Humans have their strengths, but we're still mortal. Before you know it, we're out of the picture. that eventually what's your take is he worth it yokai employees have a longer shelf life if you want me to reconsider I will <laughs> diplomatic Too. I 
guess. We're out of the woods for now, sure. I'm thinking about all the yokai willing to help us. And the fact it only took one to fix him seems a little worrisome is all. Think about it. How attached does the hairball have to be to manage that? What do you mean? Yeah, I know. Come on, Fuzzy, you gotta throw it back, all right? <laughs> oh, buddy. Stay at my house tonight? What? 